Hello, everyone. I think you can hear me. I think everything's online. I was just sharing the links for the live stream on Discord, so I think that's done. I don't think I even got to read everything. But uh, how's everyone doing today? I'm getting, I'm, I'm, pull, I'm pulling up the chat. <laughs> legend, legend, daddy. Hello, everyone. Dimitri, my first competition. Welcome. Uh, this is a rough one if it's your first competition. Like, like, uh, yeah, this is a, this is a bad first competition, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Margin Siebel's hello. Uh, yeah, like Margin says, pause your Windows updates for seven days. I haven't done that. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do that later if I remember. <laughs> Remind me later. Oh, I I need to uh. I need to copy paste my uh, town name. Good point, Margin Siebel's. Good point. Totally not prepared, but wouldn't be the first time. So, all right. Uh, Lorca, oh, you already changed price for Worms. Nice. I thought it was a bugging game. Uh, I was going by the spreadsheet, the supposedly the official spreadsheet. It actually is the official one. I guess they had put the wrong values there. But somebody pointed out that the worms were selling for a different price, so yeah. Dimitri, I have my work PC with the browser open, but I'm not on my PC. Uh, <laughs> hey everyone, Frank, I uh, hope you have fun, Dimitris. Uh, Tong, uh, what time is it? Uh, what are you asking exactly? Because the competition starts in just 13 minutes. Dragger, first competition since last year. Practice and got a gas within 2.5 hours with the NFT. Hope I'll do good enough. That's a good time, Dragger. And uh, welcome back then. Uh, yeah, I would say this is a very rough competition for it to be your first. Uh, the people who at the very least, at the very least did the Sam and Nigiri build, they're going to have an advantage because that's like half the build. Sam and Nigiri is half the build from what I noted. Dimitri says, thanks guys, doing good, and you? I am doing good, um, not really prepared for this one, but at the moment, I'm just going to focus on my wine bottle rush. I am not completely sure if I'm going to sell more stuff than that. I probably won't need that much cash, but here's what I know for sure, guys. I, you you want to focus on your cash rush. You're most likely going to want to make nukes most likely i mean that would be the better way to go so you're gonna have to go through that whole process of putting up shallow mines getting iron and getting steel and then of course most of you um will need to save up cash to craft ice blocks for your seafood warehouses so, so all of that's gonna take time that's all gonna take time you pretty much have all day today to uh this because <laughs> that's that's pretty much what's going to happen for most of us. Big Sai, hello, hello, welcome. Margin, hey, and good. Uh, 9 FPS, but works. Hey, I mean, 9 FPS is super low, but uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully, right? Troy, Mil Tro Troy Mills. <laughs> hello, this is Mount Dweller. Oh, nice. Hello. A-Z-G-A. -A. I try to start this little... Well, 20 minutes before the competition started, uh, I went a little over. But anyways, we got 11 minutes till the competition starts. Dimitri, uh, what will you be rushing for fast cash? I'm really not going to help you with my situation, Dimitri. I'm going to be doing wine bottle rush, which I honestly don't know if anybody else is even doing that at this point. Um, for no most people, I would still recommend wool. I mean, I practiced wool the other day. Uh, with a really good wool setup, you could do 2 million cash per hour. That's not bad. It's not that hard to set up. Hi, Odeka. I spoke with Farmer, and he confirms 250 price. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't sure if people tested it in-game or something. I assumed that they did. I didn't get to, I didn't get a chance to literally test everything. Uh, like, the meta was out so late anyways. 
So yeah, I mostly went by the spreadsheets that she updated. Andre, let's all lose together. Let's all win together, Andre. What are you talking about? Top 1,200? Top, somebody mentioned 1,000 players, top 1,200. That's 100% chance to win. Uh, <laughs> I would assume there's more than 1,000 players when the prizes are top 1,200, but you know. Uh, will non-NFT players be able to compete? For sure, Andre. Uh, with this player base, definitely doable. They just have to be willing to actually give it a try, Andre. There's, there's people so intimidated that um, they don't think they can make a single sushi boat or something. I'm pretty sure you probably just have to sell a batch of sushi boats and you're pretty much top 1200. Qnix, hi Dub, can't wait to see your wine rush at 5 minutes. <laughs> Two hours is what I'm hoping, Qnix. And I, I am planning to do the full wine bottle rush. I tested it a week ago and I got it done in two hours. So or, or around there, right? Uh Troy Mills dub, I had great success using your wool rush in my practice session. That's very good. I'm glad to hear that. Anza, hacking hello, going for river or ocean. And I would prefer the river because of the passive water. I don't need the ocean personally. I'm going for two or three rivers. I think I think three would give me more of that adv advantage, so preferably three, but two should be okay. Margin wool while setting up fuel, then candy to ice blocks. And then total build. First bit, it makes enough for nukes. Yeah, the nukes. <laughs> I mean, the nukes are expensive margins, it's gonna take a while. Uh, Scooty Mac, hello. Why did you decide not to do the shrimp rush if you have the NFTs for it? Uh, Scooty, I have the NFTs for Wine Bottle Rush. That's still more cash in my case. Uh, the Shrimp Rush, it depends on if I need more cash. At the moment, I'm not planning to, but you never know. Johan, I have 20 days left to, uh, do I need Nuke in my town? Um, Johan, you have 20 days left. Johan, this is going to be the competition server that uh, we're going to be participating in. The regular servers do not have any competition rewards because they're not a competition. So just regular server, if you're playing on that, it's just the practice. So yeah, it's up to you. You stay in the regular server and just practice and you're not going to be getting any rewards or try to do the competition server. Try to get at least get top 1200 and get something out of it. I think I got two water bottles. Just in case. Probably need more. Gotta stay hydrated. At least it's not too hot the past couple days. But in the next couple months, it's gonna get freaking hot. JMR Leroy, good luck with your build upset. Thanks for your videos. Thank you so much, JMR Leroy. Margin. Competition is on competition server. Yeah, the lowest in the row. So when you're changing servers, uh, right here. Competition server. Terio. Howdy. Howdy. Rody. Howdy. I'm Mersey, yo yo, wish you the best of luck, buddy. Thank you so much. Wow, we already got it says we got 50 viewers. I don't know how accurate that is. But wow, shout out to everyone. Good morning or good evening. I know some of you are other side of the world. Six minutes of the competition starts. Uh for those of you wondering if I have a design in mind, not really. Like I made half a design. I uh, I don't even know. It's like half a design, yeah, but it's missing so much stuff that it really doesn't matter at this point. Um, I'm going to be focusing on my wine bottle rush first, which I was kind of like... See, I don't even have this pulled up. What was it? Where are you? My wine bottle rush? I don't even have it like... I, I guess I never saved the file for it. I know where I want my stands and I know where I want my uh my warehouses and pretty much just uh <laughs> pretty much just put glass factories everywhere. You know what? Let me see. Hold on. Give me just a minute. 
I can figure this out in game. Like it's not that big of a deal. Like let's see. Uh, I I practice this. I know I practice this. It's just it was like a week ago. Yeah, something like that. Oh no, I can even put more here. That's right. What about here? No. Yeah, that one. I leak my whole rush right now. My whole strategy. See who beats me to it. Uh, that looks about right. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's my rush right there. Leak it. Leaking the rush. It's not gonna help most of you. I'm sorry. It's uh, what do you want me to do? Um, I happen to get the NFTs for it. I might as well use it. Uh, it's gonna be five minutes. I also have the Talonstar playbook pulled up. Shout out to all sixty of you on the Talonstar playbook. Hope hopefully it helps you out. Um, yeah, my first focus is the wine bottle rush. That's a that's an obvious one, right? Four minutes of the competition starts. I believe I already have my town name copied. I'll double check on the last minute. Uh, Terrio, I want to use wild net fishing. Crystal DW fan, hello. Not sure if I should get River or Ocean. They're both good, honestly. Try to get multiple, try to get like two, but even if you can only get one, they both have their perks, Crystal. I know, I understand, like, the ocean's gonna help you for the seaweed, the river's gonna help you save ponds. If I had to pick one, and if I was no NFT, I would just pick ocean, honestly. Because you can't, like, get salty any other way. Like, the water, you always build ponds, even if it takes up space. Louis de Point, hello! Javier, I tried a uh, Silica Rush, and it's almost the same as a wool one. Uh, but a bit more gas-hungry if anyone cares. Uh, yeah, Javier, I never practiced Silica Rush. I heard people do it. Usually they use a Freight Fear when they do Silica Rush. But I've never tried it. Uh, this week's meta is Sushi Boat. DC is a hey, brother. Hello, welcome. You also ready for this competition? Uh, Troy, I'm gonna use your non NFT summon nigiri, nigiri uh, design from last week and modify their ticket votes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let me know how that goes for you. Uh, because really, that's the only thing I can recommend right now as far as no NFT goes. Uh, because that's half the build is the summon nigiri. I learned a lot, but dub and others show details that makes the puzzle work way better. <laughs> yeah, for sure. With everyone's help. Uh, be careful, just F5 to end like that 50%. Oh gosh. Two minutes. Uh, the stream is like probably half a minute delayed from what I noticed. So keep that in mind. Uh, of course, focus on the land rush on your side, guys. Lance, Willow cheating. <laughs> Rank one. I guess they never they never removed that. Uh, somebody pointed that out. Next gen grow and yo yo, what's up? Welcome. Your timer is fifty seconds ahead of mine. How come? Oh, uh, the the stream is delayed like fifty seconds then. Well, well, yeah. Call it lag. Call it. Uh, I don't. Uh, it's not really lag. I don't know. Slow speeds. Slow upload speeds. On chain family, hello. Hey Dub, uh, one of my friends from Iran is starting in one hour. How is that? Do you know about it? Uh, I'm not sure. Competition starts in a minute though. 20 second delay. Oh, okay. That, that's different per person, I guess. Phoenix, I'll be back after land rush. Good luck, guys. Pray for three rivers or sea. Good luck, Phoenix. Best of luck to everyone. I mean, yeah, my focus right now is just the rush. Guys, you're, you're going to be building up cash for a while. So, I copied my name, but I'm going to copy it again. And I'll do what I usually do. Go to app.gala.games, wait till it's time, and then click play. Uh, hopefully, everything on the stream is okay. It seems like it. I don't know if I forgot anything. A good spot for this one, Rod? Uh, 
one or two rivers or oceans. You can get desert and awesome. Not then you'll be okay. It's just gonna take more time to set up. Ten seconds. Hopefully you're paying attention on your side. Oh, it's gonna lag real bad. Yeah, I see it. It's gonna lag on me real bad, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is not good. Well, we'll see how this goes. Say goodbye to two or three rivers. I wish you the best of luck, guys. Hopefully, y'all get a spot. Uh, Morris Caballero, hello. This no practice or blind metacom creates a thin layer of equal playing field. It's more like cash rush. This is now more like cash rush competition. Uh, either way, it's probably not fair. So yeah, I understand that. Got a huge lag spike that already puts me behind. This is the uh, probably the second time that I've ever gotten a lag spike that huge when I do this trick, which obviously is a disadvantage. Um, I didn't visibly see any three river spots, probably because I had a couple. I lost a couple seconds on that, but um, I did get two rivers. Like that's at least the minimum I wanted, so I can't really complain there. Uh, close to a city, Atlanta. So two rivers, I'll work with that. Probably would have gotten more of an advantage with three. Um, there's so much. There's so many things I want to do at first. Obviously, like sell my gas. I I don't plan on using it. I also want to set up a lumber rush if possible. Somewhere around here. I want to sell my gas. Don't sell your gas, guys. The only reason I'm selling it is because I know I don't need it. Also selling all this because I'm not planning on using it. And what I do know is I'm going to need lumber and energy for those uh, glass factories. But also I need to set up a lumber rush somewhere. So for lumber rush, I'm going to get rid of the well. I can just build it back. I need somewhere to store my lumber. I will need passive energy for my lumber mill, which I have a sawmill NFT. It's going to be crafting lumber. And it also needs a water drum. So there, the setup is my lumber rush. Obviously, I just need the lumberjacks for it. Sell a batch of weed. Yeah, I'm going to need a lumberjack. So where do I get those lumberjacks? Uh, I'll put the dragon up for now. I won't need it till later. Yeah, get rid of the silo. So yeah, lumberjacks. I'll put a road down. And... Put down three lumberjacks. Oh, see, so it didn't even apply my skins. Of course. I don't want the big the big storehouse skin. Three lumberjacks. Take out the trade depot. I'll put put down the express depot later. That's gonna get me lumber. Now I need a way to get energy. So for energy. I want a warehouse where I can put the energy in. And I want to build a worker house. And I'm going to need a couple wind turbines in spots where I have no shade, which, dang, 
Who could that be? Huh? Uh, no shade right there. And I know there's no shade there. And no shade there. See, I want to put at least three, three wind turbines. It's going to give me three wind turbines. I want to put down my cream buck because it's faster at building. All right, there. Lumber. That's going to give me energy. And I have some lumberjacks collecting wood. I'll read the chat in a moment, guys. You can see how fast I'm trying to set this up. A couple of roads to help me plan it out. See, one issue that I have right here is this uh, rock. If I'm actually setting this up correctly, the rock's gonna be in my way. So I'll try to get rid of it as fast as I can. I don't have to get rid of it right now, but I will eventually. Unless I'm completely screwing something up. But, uh, I guess we'll know for sure. Later. Each. Okay. The corrupted silica goes there. Limestone's there. And we could just put the chromium one here, even though I want it there later. And one more road should be fine. One more road because I want a warehouse here and a warehouse here. That already helps out so much. Okay. I can start crafting energy now. So what do I need? My first uh, glass factory. And that's going to go right next to my warehouse. See how fast I'm setting this up? <laughs> it takes focus, though. Uh, don't remind me. Uh, and uh, I will put legendary silent right for the two iron. There we go. I already got the lumber. I just need to wait on the energy. Yeah, that might take a couple minutes, and I'm going to have to sell ponds in the meantime. But this is pretty much the fastest way I can get to wine bottles. It's going to be the first thing I'm going to be selling. So that's the start. Uh, what I missed. Dragger, Desert with Ocean, let's go. Very nice. Very nice. Can't go wrong with the desert, right? Uh, Troy Mills, I got my favorite desert spot with Ocean close to LA. Awesome. Unix, OMG, I got three oceans. That's awesome for the uh, wild net fishing. <laughs> you just focus on that. Margin, I was aware Rush would be bad. So I took, like last time, now under Lima, South America, left side, actual ocean, 38 seconds, Lima. You know, I almost never aim for... Uh... I almost never aim for this area. I'm assuming you got somewhere over here. Maybe not. I'm actually not sure. I almost never aim for this area anymore, but the rivers here are good. There's a lot of rivers. You basically the same situation as uh, USA right here. I think I think South America has even more uh, rivers. Ultrasonico, hello. Uh, my game doesn't load. Infinite blank screen already cleared the catch and didn't work. Dang, that's not good. Still no luck. And uh, margin bulls in desert, and I think I got a great spot. Good to hear. Uh, JMR Leroy, Desert with Two Oceans. Very nice. Yeah, even though I got a forest, with the amount of money I'll get from Wine Bottle Rush, it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. I don't expect it to be. And uh, at least with the forest, I get all these ponds that I, that I can sell. Yeah, I might need them back later, but... If I do, yeah, if I need them back later, I'll just build them again. Go ahead and just sell them all. Get it over with and just sell them. 
Uh, I don't need to plant any trees because there's so many trees. So that's good. Yeah, just just sell all the pawns. I don't care. Gives me a bunch of money. Uh, yeah, I just need the energy. Then I get started with my first one. Hopefully they didn't nerf it with this update. <laughs> yeah. Crystal DW fan got two oceans. Very nice. I think it's worth it, guys, having the multiple rivers and oceans. Just uh, as long as you stick to wild net fishing. Uh, Margin says left side is South America. Have graveyards, but oil seep I like most. Oh, for sure. Uh, at the beach side, okay. Uh, Tario, I never had a bad uh, a spot like that near Menace. You got a really good spot, Tario? I don't even know where you're at, to be honest. Unless you would like share the picture or something. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Now, if you're asking where I am, near Atlanta, right here, and um, I guess you would call this center, central USA. Uh, I don't know. It's not really East Coast. It says I'm rank 55, but like, just started. Wait till I sell some wine bottles. Uh, I I know one thing for sure that that energy plant NFT. The super overpriced one. If I had it, I would be able to start this up sooner. But I don't, so yeah. I could move my rare solar panel and just provide the last two energy to it. I could do that. Heck, I should do that. Uh, I'll see if I can. Could I do more than three wind turbines? I probably could. I don't think I tried before. You, you know, I think I'll need another worker house for that. It could also be that the this warehouse is just too far. Yeah, it's probably too far away. I'm going to put the warehouse closer to the wind turbine. This 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 uh diamond warehouse doesn't cache, just so you know. And that way I can just have more wind turbine. Heck I'll I'll do five wind turbines. I need a lot of energy. Eventually I'll need uh power plants. Jamar Leroy, I was surprised at how late the new buildings were released. Kept checking and then finally they were there. Was able to practice for a couple hours before bed. Yeah, uh, Jamar, my uh, mistake was not having like half the build ready. So by the time they released it and I wanted it to practice, I realized that I still needed to build all the fishing platforms and mixing tents and stuff it's, it's the fishing platforms that takes so long the wild net fishing uh both of them so all the wild net fishing it just took so long to build and i realized that it's not going to be worth my time spending pretty much pulling an all-nighter just to try to figure out a build so yeah i got a good night's rest i'll pretty much be here all of today working on this and tweaking it and see how good I can get it. Um, I know that you pretty much want your rice fields and your seaweed close to each other. In my case, I, I probably won't have any seaweed, but uh, like rice fields and worm farms near each other. Uh, when what I was thinking about it is, I don't know if having a bunch of roads is really a good idea. I mean, sure it's fine, but I'm kind of leaning towards having less roads than usual, like a bunch of scattered roads. That's my uh, idea. 
Okay, so glass factory is being built. I forgot to move the solar panel, but that's fine. Let's keep making lumber. And um, as soon as this is built, I will slowly start crafting some wine bottles. We're uh, 15 minutes in, not too bad. Takes a bit to set this up just because of the energy. Anything else I can do right now? Um, when I have enough cash, I'm gonna get some mines going, and I guess they're gonna have to be on this side, probably like this side over here, because uh, obviously I can't have them face the rivers or be too close to the rivers. And I have, I'm gonna have my wine bottle rush taking up this space. So yeah, the mines somewhere over here. Need the mines for the iron, iron for the steel. So there's first glass factory. Does it still work? It still works. So uh, I'm gonna make one model. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be like a good ten minutes before I guess before I get my first batch of wine bottles. Uh but I'll be able to scale it up pretty quickly after the first three sales of wine bottles. Margin, I found you. No, oh, okay. Uh, I'm Erzy. It's almost time to go bed over here, and never get to reach anything much before bed. Dang. Do you, you don't even get to finish your uh, acid gasoline setup? Maybe get some, you know, get a wool rush going or something. Sell something, sugar cane, sugar, flour. But obviously you need the passive gas, right? Uh, it's going to take a while to get to 10 wine bottles. Um. You know, maybe I can figure out what else I need. Maybe figure out what my next step is. Uh, I didn't put the lumber rush here. Obviously, I need it. So, what does that look like? I have to move that around. Put that there. Oops. There's a lumber storage. Where is that? I can never memorize where the stuff is on here. Oh, Mel, where are you? Oh, uh, not again. God, Sue, I don't know where your sawmill is on here. <laughs> it's here somewhere. I know it's here somewhere. I just don't see it. Legendary loving pot dog. Quick the quick builder. There's this flower. I tried. It's probably there somewhere in front of me, but I don't see it. Oh, uh, Amir, it's usually, uh, I do usually stay up for the gasoline, but something went different with the sunlight saving, and now the tournament starts an hour later for me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's like an hour later for most of us. Margin, I have two hours to do fuel and then let it go for sleep. So tomorrow we build up cash, I build on and can only do what I can what I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That is right. Here it is. Lumber. That's my lumber setup. How's it looking? Uh the three one model. 
Auto sell wine bottle. But uh, I still need to put down my Express Depot, so I'll do that over here. I'll do that, yeah. Same thing. Express Depot. Okay, so as soon as I get some wine bottles, they're going to sell. In the meantime, I'm collecting lumber, energy. Yeah, pretty much lumber and energy. Uh, one thing I could do, and I probably should, is find a way, like ba make more lumberjacks and collect more oak wood. I'm going to wait a little on that, though. I don't think I need to do that right now. Uh, shoot. Could put down, maybe put down a wood storage. Like, right here, I guess. Big wood shed. I, I know I'm going to need to move, move this around. I think this is supposed to go more like over here. So eventually I'll move that. Clifford Lahore, uh, uh, I can't read, but hello, Clifford. Nice to see you. Go back to my idea over here. Eventually, I will need power plants. Now, I do have the way I have my rivers is. No, not, not like that. Right now, I have it on the east and south side. So I'm going to have nukes on the edge over here. I kind of do have an idea of how I want my nukes. Um, I probably will, ne will need some regular fishing platforms. Because I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to want more salmon. But honestly, I have no clue right now. But definitely, these two rivers, I want them to be all wild net fishing. Just about almost all wild net fishing. I'm going to want power plants to make more energy later. So I'm thinking last time I had it close to my wine bottle. So, I think I can do, I think I can only do two power plants. Oh, huh. how did I have it? Okay, power plant, power plant. No, I had them sharing the same paved road. No, I'm actually not quite sure. Um, I have a haunted porch, so I can get to passive crude oil. It would look something like that. That would let me craft energy, they'll take it to the warehouse. And I need the energy to build the glass factories. So yeah, something like that. Okay. Seven wine bottles, almost ten. Uh, Tatuis, ghost stores. You're right. You're pointing that out, thank you. See, I thought I couldn't even do ghost stores yet, but obviously I had them next to each other. That could have saved me, like, a good minute. I could do ghost stores on the sawmill as well. Sawmill to number. I don't believe I can do ghost store on that. And uh, they're going to start having to take the energy over here. That's fine. I didn't do this five uh, 
wind turbine before, so that should give me a bunch of energy. Yeah, thanks for reminding me on the ghost orbs. I'm, I'm about to get some of my models. Margin, uh, I make too much wood for sheep, so I'm just going to put a wheat stand and windmill for flour. Gets the wood more worth. True, but wool is worth more. Um, Lowe's Gameplay Zaniko, hello. Are you running out of gasoline or using dragon? Oh, I'm using the dragon. I took it off so I don't have to pay for the wages. I usually put the dragon back once I'm actually using it. So yeah, I'm using the dragon. Roy Mills, Dub, how many seafood warehouse do you think you'll need? Me personally, I'm just going to try to do two. One near my shrimp and fish chum area. Which I don't really know where it's going to be yet. And uh, the other one near my uh, sushi restaurants which will be, my sushi restaurants will be next to my wild net fishing. So I can imagine here or on one of the edges. Here, here, here. Um, basically, Troy, I'm going to have two seafood warehouses across from each other. Like one over here, one over here. That's the idea. I know some people just got one, like the NFT version, one of them. You could do it with just one. It's not going to be as efficient, in my opinion. Or at least I haven't figured out how you would be able to put so much stuff um, going towards just the one seafood warehouse. Johan, hello. You got horse, too. Yeah, Johan, just because uh, I want to make sure I get the two rivers. I feel like the rivers are more important. I can deal with the forest once I sell enough wine bottles. Uh, trust me, that won't be an issue. It's just the very start. I gotta move stuff around. Uh, obviously, I can't put it where I want to put it because there's something in the way. But I'll work with it. I'm selling my first batch of wine bottles. That's gonna let me hoard my next uh, glass factory. Which, right here, should be a good spot. Already have my iron. Just need the lumber and energy, which they're working on it. Uh, oh yeah, when I practiced this the first time, I realized I needed a lot more builders. So I'll build a couple of them out. Eventually, I need a lot of builders. Maybe it's too soon. So I'll just build two for now. Uh, so once this is built, I'll get wine bottles twice as fast. Then I'll be able to build like two more. And I'm pretty sure you'll realize that I'm going to have more cash than I can spend. At least that's what happened last time. Troy, uh, okay. Uh, thanks all I've need thus far in my assembly rebuilds, but wasn't sure if you thought the boat metal would require more. I guess it depends how well you can balance it, Troy. Because uh, if, if you're overproducing some stuff, you're, you're going to need to sell it for force, so it won't jam up your warehouses. But more workers and turbines are ready. I guess you got a point, huh? They're only collecting from over three. Uh, the reason that's happening, though, is because this is full and they got to walk all the way over here. But I'm going to take your advice because I already know that I'm going to need more energy. So I'll put down one more. Okay, just one more. And that's going to have to do. And uh, I need more wood for that. So turn off that for a while. Let them collect wood. It's this builder. <laughs> it's, it's not the crane bot that's going to build it, it's the builder that's super far away. <laughs> Damn. It's almost done.
Butterroll, hello, hi Dub. Can I use the Sushi Nigiri build uh, from last competition before? Um, well, what are you referring to? The no NFT one is, uh, yeah, you, you can use it and tweak it. If you mean the uh, competition one that I made, you can try. I. There's obviously, I'm going to use some similarities from it, so it should work. But yeah, you're going to, either way, you're going to need to tweak it, right? So yeah, you can try. And then again, I got the seaweed stand, so I'm going to be... I don't think I'll need any seaweed farms. We got two glass factories now. Uh, another worker to collect energy, since the tweets pointed out that I need more energy. Well, they're not collecting from all the wind turbines. Uh, that's fine, though. I'll keep it at three. I got plenty of storage. Uh, start making lumber again. I think I should have more lumberjacks, or not yet. Too soon. Five wine bottles already. It's going to get quicker and quicker. Hmm. You know, it would make sense if I have my power plants next to my shallow mines, but they can't be too close to the river either. That's interesting. What about over here? I would run into the same issue. Okay. All right, then. Let me try something out here. I'm trying to come up with an idea for the mines. What if I move this? That would let me put see, three shallow mines. Two power plants. And my haunted porch. So I get my energy. And I also have full passive energy and passive water drums. So yeah, water drum and energy. But yeah, I have to place down my diamond pump in order for this to uh, double the water drums and reach these. That sounds good to me. And uh, what about the, the uh, steel mill? Five energy. Steel mail needs uh, more water drums. So I'm thinking. Oh well, I have the rare. I have the rare water pump that gives it all the water drums it needs. Yeah, and it just needs the steel, and then we just put my styling right next to it. You'll get to see my thought process on this. 
Oh shoot, I need to uh, build another one. I just sold the bats like a minute ago. Where's my next one gonna be? I put it near uh right here, right there. Yeah, right there. Oh shoot, I can build two of them. We're behind schedule. <laughs> Dang. Do I have a road here? Oh, I do. Then right here. And I'll just move it closer. Once that first one's done building. Road here. Road, road. Is it a road over here? Yeah, I believe so. Check. Oh yeah, there's a road here. So Federal uh, I have no I really have no clue what to do with iron on NFT they I guess I just collecting cash for now. <laughs> Yeah, um, I expect most people to just be collecting cash the uh, first day. Like, considering how much cash you'll need for the ice rush. Not the ice rush, just crafting ice, sorry. Uh, considering how much cash you'll need just to craft ice for the seafood warehouses. It's going to take a while. And that's after you do your passive gasoline setup. And then if you're going to do nukes, well, that's a bunch of money too. Get at least one new going. The power plant. Okay, the two power plants. So right next to that road I made is an aquifer. And then there's going to be two power plants. Aquifer and two power plants. So of course everything's in the way. Why wouldn't it be? I got rid of this just so I can plan out better. Uh, here, I'll see the aquifer here and I'll know that the, I'm gonna want two power plants here. You know what? Shoot. I'll see this dude here and I'll also remember two power plants here. That's the goal. Move this. Hopefully, I don't. I don't know. I don't wanna think about it, but like, I don't wanna like move around too fast where it fixes me. You know what I mean? So maybe better safe than sorry. On the uh, like the people who got flagged on the last competition, I don't know. Some some of them were saying they they the reason they got flagged was they flaked around too much. It's stupid reasons. Uh, I try not to think about it, but like I'm trying to play it safe as well. Margin feeder and meadow wool and flower going on. Sweet. <laughs> uh, why are you 146 place? I'm you I'm used. You are 26 at start. Not good. <laughs> I'll catch up, Margin. It's too early. Uh Night Wolf got two ocean edges and forest this time. Let's see. Alright, good luck. Two oceans, that's good. That's good. The forest is gonna be kinda rough at first, but eventually you'll get through it. Uh, those gameplays, Nico. How can top one have sixteen million stars? Well, nobody has uh, nobody has legit sixteen million stars right now, uh, Nico. So it's probably a cheater. And if it's a cheater, if it's a cheater, they'll just get it kicked off once they run their little scams. Yeah, so I just got more cash. I want my next one to be right here. So, there goes that. Hurry up and build.
I'm going to be selling wine bottles faster than I can keep up. Oh, uh, I ran out of gas, so there goes the fuel storage and the depot. I'm putting up my dragon now. There's this one. Make wine bottle. Move this over here. I have two rivers and forests too. Tipo, hello. You can work with it. Same, same as me. Yeah, I got the same as me. Uh, Ronnie, uh, I managed to get three riverside, but nothing beat your corrupted enough. Yeah, Ronnie, nothing's supposed to beat it at least for now. But um, I can't. I mean, I can't argue with you there. Yeah, dragon, dragon's amazing. Awesome. Where am I at? Where am I at? I need that paved road. Four of these paved roads. And I need a pond. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of like this setup for uh, steel. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. You gotta be careful. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta be careful that I don't spend all my money. I gotta get to 25 wine bottles before I get my uh, next burst of income. Tipo, wish I could copy your build. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Hey, Tipo, did you get any uh, seaweed stands? Well, I'm not sure if you guys know, but I did get two seaweed stands. Obviously, I'm going to use one. I don't actually even know if I'm going to use both. Because I don't know what my end situation is going to look like. Uh, for the storages, the seafood storages, I did get two and I am planning on using both. Actually, when I say I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use both seaweed stands, I'm going to use them to build the shrimp ponds because you need 10, past, 10 seaweed for those. So I am going to use both for building the shrimp ponds. But in the end build, I don't know if I'm going to use both yet. That can go... Energy, lumber... Something's telling me I probably want more lumberjack. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where, right here. Put two more. Two more lumberjack. Rachel Van, hello. Uh, I can't complain. Got what I wanted. Three sided ocean desert. Oh, that's super good. So much waterways to work with. And in a desert. Very nice. Amirzi, congrats for the stands. I mean, they, they weren't cheap, so I'm in a situation where I eventually will probably just sell them, to be honest. It really depends. <laughs> but thanks, I guess. <laughs> Cheaper, I got one. All right. Well, yeah, that's going to help you out so much. Got one. Wish I had two. Got two storages. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Almost at 25 wine bottles. Two more lumberjacks to help with the wood. Uh, I mean, I pretty much, yeah, I pretty much just have to wait for the wine bottle sell.
Margin preparing for the nukes and the water factory uh, and the oaks to make them. But I am aware less wild nets needed for it. Do you think you will need less wild nets? Oh, because uh, the sushi boat's needing other stuff. Somebody asked me what rate am I aiming for? Oh, maybe it was Tipo or somebody. I'm not exactly sure. I would think that with the seaweed stance, 300 is doable. I saw some people saying they were going to do 500. Like, honestly, I don't even know if they're serious. Probably. <laughs> probably. They probably got to practice it. But I think 300 with a seaweed stand would be doable. I think. And uh, no NFT. Up to a hundred. I saw some people doing really good rates with Simon Nigiri, uh, Simon Nigiri with no uh, NFTs or very limited NFTs. But I do think you could get a hundred. It's a pretty big gap between a hundred and three hundred, though. Usually, like with NFTs, you get double. This time, it seems like maybe you'll get triple. So, yeah. Hmm. Where should my uh, next my models go? Maybe that spot. Yep, I will. Oh, hold on. Get rid of some stuff. I can do styling right here. I can do two glass factories here and here. Uh, I want to move this stand. Hopefully it doesn't lag me. Move the chromium stand over here. And I want to pave this road. Okay. Good amount of stuff with that cash. Cool. Nightwolf, should I go for wool rush and then to uniforms? Nightwolf, the amount of work it takes to do uniforms, I tried it. Like I, I made the guild the guides. I'm pretty um assuming you probably saw those, I'm pretty sure you saw those. Um Uniforms makes you more cash, but it takes so much effort to get to to where I think it would just be wiser to try to make a wool rush setup that gets you at least 500 wool per hour. It should be possible. Some people get like 800 wool per hour, but I think they're using like wheat stands and some NFTs to help them out. Or they're probably using ATVs. You can't you can't be using ATVs on your wool rush. I don't think it's worth these stars. I would just stick to wool. I mean, uh depends on the next matters if you really enjoy personally if they go month by month. Announcing the matters or at least leaks a bit more with the upcoming ones, missed out buying one of them. Margin, I had one total push inside on Mosul for or no sushi NFTs. So to say less full, I think it's good. Depends on the rate. Cool, getting two more builds. What does this need? Wood and lumber, they're working on it. So yeah, I need these roads paved. Get rid of that. Put another pave road. See, I'm about to get more money. It's going to get to a point where I won't be able to build fast enough. I'm getting to that point. I haven't even, I haven't checked my rank. I'll check it in like 10 more minutes. Maybe I'll be top 100 again. Okay. 
All right, then what is thanks here? Welcome. I don't know, wool is just so good right now. So far, they haven't added anything that'll definitely like beat it. There's other things that come close. Like, I know I'm people are saying silica rush is really good money. But like that's not something you can depend on. You probably need freight piers for that. And uh Sandy effect. Oh, sold a batch of wine bottles and I'll build two more of these. As for over here. Oh, I'm going to need more builders. I, I already sense it. I need a pond. Yeah, no, no, I need the pond right here. The water pump over here. I need the pond right here. And that pond's gonna require water. And eventually I'll need a bunch of um the uh wind pumps. Wind pumps or wells, I'll just build the uh, I guess I'll just build wells. Two of them. Yeah, two of them. That's fine. Uh, I'll turn off lumber after this one's done so I can focus on wood. My little monster, what's up? Good to see you here. Margin, the difference is that you understand the game more. I will get there, <laughs> right? Rachel Van, uh, last time I checked my rank early on, it kicked me out and I had to reload. I'm scared to check it now. That's happened to me before. Uh, not all the time, but maybe once or twice. Yeah, it like freezes up on you. <laughs> That's why I, I don't really bother Rachel. I can just go, you know what? Yeah, I'll go to the world map and just click on my name. Look, it says I'm ranked 65. That's that's good. For now. Oh yeah, I remember. Uh more builders. Like there was something I was gonna do. Bunch more builders. Get rid of some trees. Oh, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Did I need that road? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, before the glass factories. Oh, bunch of money. I'm going to move this and hopefully nothing bad happens, but like 
I need to move it around faster to build these faster. Gonna delete all the marshes. Getting to that point, guys. Too much cash. Pretty soon. Do not, uh, I do not kicked out when ranked, but it's game things over status things, so refresh indeed. But that first time, just like when it starts, I can't remove track. So go to the map and remove. Usually, I have to refresh the game when that happens to me, Margin. Uh, like, it won't even let me go to the world map sometimes. But yeah, that, that bug is kind of annoying. No, it's not kind of annoying. It's actually very annoying. Morris, uh, the way to exit that bug is to click on settings where you turn on auto sell. But you should click on change servers. It will then let you exit the leaderboards. Then hit cancel on change servers. Or I mean hit return. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. Something that I never tried. I didn't even know that. Okay, we got this. So almost done building that one. And the next one's going to be right there. I am missing the road, huh? Yeah. Missing a road here and currently here. Is this builder doing anything? It's moving in energy. Takes forever. <laughs> I need a road here. Do I need one there? I. Um, yeah, yeah, it looks like I do. I do need a road here. I don't need that one. Nor do I actually need this one. So where, where are you? Okay. Delete it and put a road. Start making more lumber. So situation over here. Probably start making power plants. At, at the very least, this one. I really need one power plant for the mines. No, I, either one will work. Uh, shoot, I'll start over here then. Do I have everything for the power plant? Yeah, I do. I should have everything for the power plant. One going out there. Last factory is getting built. You starting to see how fast this is improving? We're just about an hour into the competition and forgot to turn that on. Take that tree out. I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even finish taking off all the marshes. There's still a couple. Morris, the leaderboard bug just happened to me now, so I'm confident the change server trick helps you regulate stack on leaderboard bug. Okay. So you have to click on the settings. I'll try to remember that. This one can be ghost door. I mean, it can with the builder house, but like, uh, it doesn't have to be. It's just gonna walk this little distance and deposit it here.
think I got rid of all the marshes. Yeah. All right, one hour into the competition. Rank 49. Making really good progress on the wine rush. Setting up the power plants. And I already have the idea of what I'm going to do for iron and steel production. If you guys have any questions, definitely do ask. I'll do my best to help. Obviously, I don't have like a complete setup I can give you because I don't know what exactly will work. I'm trying to figure this out as well. Some people apparently stayed up all night to uh, practice. <laughs> but I just didn't see that as a good idea. Like then I stay up all night and then I got to do competition for pretty much all day. Heck nah. I'm going to fall asleep if I do that. I mean, if possible, I'd like to share some design ideas tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's one day after the competition starts, but I figure... This first day, most people are just going to be building up cash anyways. But, uh, it's a good idea to practice, guys, whenever y'all can. Um, but for sure, we, we really didn't have that much time to practice on this one. Uh, two more right here. Power plants getting built. Awesome. I will probably get rid of. No, I'm not going to get rid of it. It's just going to be slowed down. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep them running. I'll keep collecting a bunch of energy. Sheesh, I'm gonna end up with a bunch of cash pretty soon. There we go. Power plants. I am going to work on the three shallow mines. Got the ponds. I'm gonna put the rare water pump. This is gonna be for the steel mill later. Uh, warehouses. I'm going to want a regular warehouse here. Right there. Yeah, and one right there. It's supposed to be next to a road right here. So I don't actually need that rubber. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to build my second power plant right there. And I put down more builders, maybe over here. This is about that point where I uh, need to put down a bunch of builders. Rachel, yeah, I didn't practice at all this time. I opted for sleep instead. Right on. <laughs>
I can move this silent ride right there and build two more. I think I need more trees. I can start putting down a tree farm. Just in case. Uh, honestly, I don't think I'll need to do shrimp brush. So, do y'all think this will keep happening in, uh, during May Mayhem? Do you think they're just going to release the meta last couple hours? Actually, will we even get to practice for the meta? Since the uh, standard server is supposed to have different rules. I, didn't, I actually didn't think of, about that. First, a lot. First time I have bothered to actually start a, a competition start. Last land rush and actually got a semi-decent spot. Good luck to everyone. Yeah, th this is supposed to be the last land rush. You're right. Um, I say supposed to be because I don't know. At this point, I'm skeptical. But yes, hopefully this is the last land rush. And good luck to you. Margin, uh, seen using the wood for wool and flour. I'm going uh, faster again. Saving for paved roads and then power plants. 26, we to go. So seems pretty good. Very good, yeah. Get better and better at it. Need uh, energy. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Something tells me I need more uh, builders. Or is it just me? I'm getting to that point where I can't use up all the cash anymore. Gosh, this is a mess, but it's fine. Uh, just, just this part is a mess, not the whole build. <laughs> so, you know, organize this better. There you go. All right. I'm going to need more lumber pretty soon. Very soon, even. Uh, I forgot. I, I need to put down a diamond pump so I can double the effects of the aquifer. There you go. Passive energy, passive water drum. They just need to get the lumber, which right now it's being used by pretty much everything. Um, ideally, I would want to have another of those sawmills somewhere. I could have one here. I could have... No, yeah, I could run them here. How would that look like? I'll move them around later, obviously. I'm thinking... Like that. Yeah, like that, and then I can have my, uh, move my lumber storage over here. And, no, yeah, that, that seems pretty good. Oops. 
I ain't gotta work on more of these. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the full wine bottle rush this time. Uh, if any of y'all saw the last stream, that was like the budget version of the wine bottle rush. That was my first time doing it, so like I already knew I wasn't gonna do the full thing. I don't think I need that right. Anyways, yeah, more iron. I kind of want to move the big ones over here. I have my reasons. Uh, I don't want to have it in the middle. So yeah, this is going to screw up my raid just a little bit. But I want the big warehouse to go over here. And I need to put a regular one over here. I, I have my reasons on why I want it to be that way. And I just need some more roads. I get rid of this. Get rid of the rocks. What do I need here? Wood? Oh, they're, they're working on it. See, look at that. Almost the whole map is cleared. What, what do you know? It would be better if I work on the glass factories over here because uh, I have some passive energy to work with. Yeah, so the next one I should do is that one. I will probably try to move this warehouse as well. Yeah, probably move it over here. I got my energy. It's just it's going down. What the heck? That's actually quite a lot of uh, builders moving energy. I was like, wow, my energy took a hit. Have you, Louis De Point? Have you played the Town Star server in the last days? If so, is it good now? The Town Star Godot, I'm assuming you're asking? Not in the last few days. I honestly haven't checked it out. Um, since like almost a month ago. JMR Leroy, what's the plan to replace the land rush in Godot? Can you select the exact type of land uh which running areas that you want to have? JMR Leroy, initially everyone's gonna have the exact same biome, probably a forest with a uh, ocean side and a mountain side. Eventually, we'll be able to select from a multiple choice of options. That's the idea. I'm not exactly sure what their plan is for the Town Star Forever version of Town Star. Nightwolf. Wait, is this the last land rush? How are they going to change in Godot version? Uh, everyone's going to have the same one at first. Hurts a lot. Yeah, selecting land on all four sides, or they just choose what we all have. I I don't know if we'll able be able to select the uh, sides. Uh, Earth's Law, get yourself added for the playtest just to get a look. Uh, Margin Seabulls, <laughs> uh, built the lumber mill at wrong side of oil sea, not touching water. Uh, yeah, I built another one. Lance, aw oh, snap, killing it over here. I don't know what to do with all this cash. Already hit a million cash. Got two power plants going. Got my iron going. I'm gonna build the. Can I? Can I build the uh, steel mill yet? You know what? 
I don't think I can afford it. Nope, I can't afford the steel mill, so I know where all my cash is gonna be spent pretty soon. Okay, I want to work on the glass factories over here. Uh, just this one. Josh, uh, you need to invest some energy NFTs. It would save you time and money on windmills and workers. And hey, Josh, nice to see you here. Uh, yeah, I, I realize that, but... um. Do I really? Maybe I could just win that energy ghost card and just do my power plant setup and it'll be just fine. Uh, my energy seems okay now. But you're right, Josh. It would save me a couple minutes. I realize that. But, like, is it really necessary? Like, when I think about it, I don't know if it's really necessary. I could just get another cream bot and that would be just as good, you know. I can afford the steel mill now. I know that I can. Is it the way to go? I'm not exactly sure, but like I'm gonna I guess I'll do it. Steel mill. Gonna have the water drums, the energy. And it'll pick up iron from here, so it should be pretty quick. Yeah. Should be good. Steel rush is good. Oh, that's not really a rush. Steel setup is good. The wine rush is good. Um, I will have to move this a little bit. Most of the, yeah, three wind turbines are so green. Yeah, I could just set up more trees over here. Yeah, there'll be yellow timer, but for the time being, it's fine. Do I need... Yeah, I still need... Uh... Oh, I remember. I needed... I wanted to have more uh, lumber mill over here. I remember now. I probably need more lumberjacks then. Oh, I definitely need more lumberjacks. Yeah, I just realized that. Where are my lumberjacks gonna go? Right here. It's gonna slow down my windmills. But uh, th those power plants should be giving me a lot of energy now. I better not get in trouble for clicking so fast. What do I need? Lumber. Shoot. I need, yeah, I need more lumber. All right. That's going to get me more lumber. Less wood, though. Lumberjack. Uh, shoot, I'm just gonna get it. Yeah. And even more lumberjacks. And yeah, I don't need these wind turbines no more. Should be fine. Which means I probably only need one of these for now. So that's still green, and that's still green. Okay, that's being built.
pretty much I want to get rid of all these random trees. They can just go for the tree farms. Yeah, I've been watching, listening the whole time, uh, just busy with my town. I got the cheaper energy ones. I think they are nice. Uh, got a two, uh, desert, two ocean spot. Very nice spot. Yeah, even the cheap ones are nice. I would probably be to the point where I need, uh, so much energy that one of the plants would help out more than the cheaper ones. I still think they're pretty overpriced. I did put an offer on one earlier, but... I believe that offer already expired, and I don't know if I want to put another one up. Um, have you all seen the price of Gala? It's doing pretty good the past day. I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna hype up Gala pretty good during May. I have a feeling. Um, have you all heard about Gala version two? They're gonna airdrop the second version of. The second version of the tokens to everyone so if any of you happen to have gala on the liquidity pool they said to take it out from there or else you won't get your airdrop of the new gala uh, i don't know all the details i'll probably make a video on it as long as you have your gala in a wallet should be okay you'll get the new gala and the old gala will Pretty much be useless from what they said. Uh, that is one of the reasons I think Gala is going up. Usually I don't talk about tokens and prices and stuff because I'm not an expert on it by any means. But um, I'm just speculating on that. Cool. Got steel mill and crafting steel. Uh, for the time being, I guess I'll just pick up the full 10. Iron, because I'm kind of busy using up the styling ride on building more of these. Troy Dub signing off now. You're cranking. Uh, I see the value of NFTs at the outset. You've already got over 500k and 50,000 50, points. You're right. <laughs> Good luck in the competition. Thank you, Troy. Good luck to you as well. I just gotta. I'm gonna have to tweak the build a lot basically 18th place very nice yeah I didn't, I didn't realize i had over 50 000 points already i'm just gonna assume that i don't need these wind turbines anymore and just stick to the power plants No more wind turbines. Okay. Glass factory there. Yeah, so this rush setup is going good. What else can I plan out? I kind of had an idea of how I wanted to do the nukes. Let's see. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Um, let me take the power plants out. Uh, just because I, I already have an idea of the uh, energy there. The nukes, I need four energy for the wild net fishing. So, I want to try to do just four energy on all the edges, all, all the water edges. Raytones, hello. What entities give the passive salt? Passive salt. Passive salty? Uh, the Haunted Maze Zone 3 will give passive salty. Uh, check the Town Star playbook for the exact range because. It depends on whether you have just the single NFT or the whole set. See, this would give me four passive energy on all the edges, or I could move it over a little 
to where basically to where this happens. I could do that. That looks kind of weird to me, but it technically does give me four energy across everything. It does require one more nuke though, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep it like this. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep it like that. That's the idea right now. Oh, yeah, dang. I could have been working on another one right there. Why can't I, uh... Do I have a road there? Oh, I'm supposed to have a road right here. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so I should be able to put one there and one right here. Okay, then. Oh, yeah, I want to move my lumber storage. Shoot, I'm going to waste 10 lumber. I'm accidentally, I'm going <laughs> to maybe intentionally throw away that lumber. I want to move my lumber storage over here. Right there. The big warehouse, I also want to move that over here. I want to have both big warehouses next to each other, at least for the time being. And I'll build out a regular warehouse over here. Federal, um, I really hate the new reward structure for the NFT competition on NFT user like me, but struggle very much for top 1200. Yeah, it's, it's going to be to a point where not everybody will be getting the NFTs. Uh, yeah, because before, pretty much everybody was getting the NFTs. Actually, there were more NFTs than there were players. I've not checked how many players there are so far in the competition, but I it, we're only an hour and a half in. I know more people will be uh, joining. Two. Two glass factories like that. I'm going to do these two next. Actually, yeah, I'll just build them out. Should be okay. Should be able to do all that. Margin, 1,566 players. I checked while well, I heard you say it. Okay. Uh, I know some of those, they kind of just log in and they don't do anything. And you always have those players. It's fine. It's, it's the ones that log in to check the game and then they realize they don't want to play the game. It's not that they uh, saw their reward structure, it's just that they're like, nah, I don't, I, this looks too hard. And <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. This game is not that uh, new player friendly right now. It can be, but it's not right now. But roll well, top 2000 would be good though. Uh, yes, top 4500 before was very easy. 
that will expand the reward structures. They did say that. I would very much expect them to. Um, as for the May Mayhem reward structures, I hope they share it on Friday. They already told us it was going to be a million dollars across the month. I hope they share the actual price structures then on Friday. Um, that way we can see, like, what, what are we expecting? Are we expecting top 2,000 or are we expecting something bigger than that? Because last year, if I remember correctly, it was top 2,000 and I could pull that up as well. You might not be able to see it because it's... Uh... Well, let's see if you can see it. I don't know. Um, competition list. Scroll to the bottom. The playbook has been around for a year now. I forgot um, the exact day, but I started on it in April. Uh, at the very bottom was the proposed reward structure, so that's not it. Uh, right here, May Mayhem. First week, May Mayhem prizes were top 2,000. And uh, I'm not going to leave it on here for that. I'm not going to leave it on the screen all that long. So you can check the Soundstar playbook, the competition list near the bottom. It was uh, top 2,000, and you can see 1,001 to 2,000 play. So it was 50 bucks equivalent in Gala. And they also had bonus prizes for hitting a certain rank. I don't know if they're going to do this bonus prize anymore. So yeah, they had top 2,000. So do you guys expect it to still be top 2,000? Just half the prizes all across? Since uh, last time it was $2 million, and this time it's only going to be a million, and that's including the referral prizes. So I'm guessing either top 2,000 for May Mayhem, or even more than that if they want to make it to where all these new people just log in and play a little and just get free rewards they could do that i i don't know what the what their plan is there uh and you know what i never heard people complain about top heavy rewards during may mayhem never or maybe i was i have no clue yeah, I never heard that complaint. Um, so I don't know if anybody's gonna bring it up. This may mayhem. I'm actually gonna. I'm gonna see if uh anybody notices that they uh they say that. Uh, for may mayhem, the competition lengths were uh different as well. The first one was six and a half days, so pretty much the whole week, and then the second one was four and a half days. The third one was three and a half days. The fourth competition was two and a half days, and I want to say that everybody loved that. Just two and a half days of worrying about the competition. That was so sweet. Uh, the six and a half day one was probably the worst one. It just took so dang long. But yeah, I'm going to put this back to normal. Good luck on that. Oh shoot, I just realized that they're just gonna pick up the iron from over here. Whoops. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. They're just gonna go pick up the iron that's over here anyway, so yeah. Oh, whatever. I do have 3 steel, and I think I want like 30, probably 40 just to be safe. Hurts a lot. Rewards will depend on whether they have big push for new players like last year with the referral stuff. Surely they have a marketing strategy for it. Yeah, I would hope so. Like, they're pretty much putting everything on May Mayhem. I realize that. They want their Gala version 2 token to airdrop to happen in the middle of May Mayhem. Mirandis will probably have its playtest in May at this point. Champions Arena will probably have its playtest at May, even though they were both scheduled for April. Town Star Team wants Godot to come out 1st of May. 
Eternal Paradox playtest was already scheduled for May. Box Mayhem's schedule is uh, in May. I just don't know exactly when. I don't know about the other games. I've not heard anything about Spider Tanks, but I do not keep up with that game. Everything's happening in May. It's going to be nuts. Uh, so understandably, I think Gala might see some action. Gala as in the actual token. But once again, that's speculation. And I don't know what I'm talking about. Shoot, I have 4 million cash. What do I use it on? A nuke, I guess, once I can afford it. Oh yeah, I need to... I guess I'll build more uh, glass factories, right? But what's the next one? Right here and right there. These two... These two right here. Okay, all this stuff happening here. I, I want to move the big witch shed out of the way. I just want to move it somewhere else. Probably over here. I'm trying to put the storages in the edges. That way I think it's easier for me to uh, manage stuff, I guess. If you can even call it that. Where are you going to go? Where am I going to go? I'm not completely sure. I'm going to move it. Just over here and I'll probably have to move it again. <laughs> See, I, I wanted to put it here, but at the same time, I'm going to have a nuke here, and I'm not really sure how that's going to work. So just in case, I'll put it here. It's just wood. This, I will... I guess I'll put it here for now. Just more lumber. Um... Yeah, the diamond warehouse. Where were the diamond warehouse? The diamond warehouse, I can shove it over here. Okay. Take the witch shut out. Take these roads off. Take that off. Take that off. Take this off. Glass factory. Crypto Doc, hello. Uh, hey, Dub, are you going to put out a late no NFT showcase? Uh, I don't have one, Crypto Doc. I couldn't build one yet. Unless you're talking like I make one tomorrow or the next day. Uh, Crypto Doc, I'm making cash, but I have no idea what to do. I would recommend, at this point, I would recommend the no NFT Simon Nigiri build that I made for the last competition. Use that and then tweak it by implementing the new stuff so you can, even if you make just a few sushi boats, from there on, you can tweak it further to improve the production. That's just going to at least get you started, um, just in case I don't come up with an idea in time. Stefan, hello. Uh, yo, good luck on the competition dub. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to need good luck on this one. Oh, I appreciate it. Oh, 
too much energy. Once I'm done with this wine bottle rush, then I have to start thinking about um, actually starting to build some stuff. I don't have a... I'm not building up any oak wood right now, but I will later. Uh, probably after I'm done with all this. So... Gonna want a glass factory here, here, and here. Here, I messed up with my ghost door somewhere because this doesn't look right. Is this one not gonna be ghost door? That's not supposed to happen, but I guess. Yeah, something something went wrong with the ghost doors. It's not a big deal. I'll probably just lose one wine bottle. Ah, uh, crypto deck. Uh, oh damn! Give you a like and I'm out to that. Not much time. No problem, crypto doc. I understand that. And bottle. These uh competitions are very time consuming. Hopefully. Townstar Godot can alleviate that a little. I mean, you're still going to use up a lot of time setting up your build, so. It's all part of the game. It's like one big chess match, right? That's the way I see it. Margin, uh, Wendy, oh, I see notification talks about Gala Airdrop as well, so that makes it true, seeing I understand it was not sure. I do hear half of what you say. Uh, see known build. Yeah, they confirmed the new Gala version 2 token yesterday i actually didn't realize it until this morning so it is true there's going to be a lot of scams going around with that like people messaging other people scammers messaging people like hey uh, have you heard about the new gala version 2 token um let me help you with that send your gala to me or some crap like that uh just watch out for those scams uh don't send your gala to anyone for no reason like it if they say, yeah, you always make sure you verify it with the Gala Games Discord as well. So don't just send out your Gala to someone because they say they're going to give you a new version of it. Uh, it's interesting how they're doing that. I don't know all the specific reasons why they're doing it. Uh, I'm assuming they want to make a new contract that will allow them to upgrade the token further probably do stuff they couldn't do before that may be good that might be bad it's probably good but like they just you know they want to have more control over it or something i don't know too much about how that works so i'm almost done i think i gotta build two more and then the wine bottle rush is complete and then i just Gotta let it run. Heck, this is the fastest I've ever built it. Wow. This one better than my uh, practice run a week ago. It's not even been two hours, so it's going to be done in under two hours. That's amazing. Probably because I had more builders and more uh, wind turbines this time around. So that probably did the trick. I don't know what happened with my ghost store setup because it's I'm gonna end up with a little bit more wine bottle wine glass factories that don't have the ghost store on them. So a little different there. Also, last time in my practice run, I had more number and oak wood saved up but i guess this time it's because i'm also focusing on making steel i already have five steel 
I almost have enough for my first nuke. Like, probably at the two hour mark. Yeah, in main chat are you or Wendy O seen she played downside as well and she knows they better very well. Yeah, uh, I've seen Wendy O's channel. I just don't keep up with uh, her content, but she talks more about the actual points and I, t I try to talk more about gameplay. That's why. Next gen grown. Wow. How is your build going? How's your rush going? Margin, way to go, Dub7. I'm saving four power plants as normal, <laughs> right? <laughs> Right, right. Going, going fast. Rank 10. Awesome. Rush got me to rank 10. I'm not going to stay rank 10, though. Nope. That's not going to happen. How many cheaters are in the top 10 anyway? I've, I've not checked. I kind of don't want to check. Thanks, and Grown. Uh, rank 179, almost finished on Rush Build. Very good. I believe I just need two more glass factories and I finish the wine bottle rush. I'm going to need to calm down with the energy production <laughs> getting out of hand. Hansa Hagen, 181. <laughs> so close to a uh, next gen grown, man. Keeps searching connection and it's pissing me off. Huh. Yeah, that's not happening to me. My bottle rush is just about nearly done. Uh, Tippo, one cheater at number one. One obvious cheater at rank one. Okay. So that puts me at rank 9. I watch her sometimes like Crypto Jab, Morn, Satoshi, Stacker, Seen, both know a lot, you know this, the game. If the earnings ever do, and hopefully they do get super good for this game, you're gonna see a lot of those crypto ROI YouTubers come back to the game and start covering it. Next gen grown, I got 50 to 60 FPS and it's doing it to me. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Oh shoot. What is my cell times? 31 seconds? That's pretty good. It might actually get to the point where I, I won't be able to sell wine bottles fast enough. Wow. I thought I, I was close enough to a city. Maybe not close. Maybe not close enough. Where's my dragon? Dragon's over there. Maybe if I put my dragon over here, it would shave off like two seconds. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Uh, where can I put my legendary style and ride? Uh, this lumber mill is going to have to leave. I, I got to put my style next to the steel mill. How much memory RAM do you have? Oh, you're asking next gen. Amira, uh, is 5 second cell timer good for going on with only one trade depot? I mean, it's it's awesome, but like it depends what you're doing, right? Margin, I doubled my RAM so it can handle better. Uh, Louis De Point, where is your town? It's in uh, next to Atlanta, right here in North America. Central USA is what I would call it. it says rank 9 now. Close to a city. This is close. It's just that wine bottle production is crazy. An hour and 50 minutes into the competition. 
So wine bottle rush is done. I have to refresh this because it's outdated pretty much. I'm gonna reset it. Okay. Oh, let that run for a while. Uh, not planning to put more glass factories down. Let me get rid of these two trees. Dang, less than two hours and I'm making steel and a bunch of money. That's insane. I don't have the whole build planned out, but I do want to plan out my, uh, my, how I'm going to set up the nukes, especially with two rivers. Uh, Ertz says NFT I love the most is that U UFO skin. Dragon would be great for the reduced tiles, but the UFO I love. Yeah, because the UFO is so fast, but I mean, you still got to pay uh, your gasoline to sell. Uh, wine bottles look pretty again. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they do. Uh, I have an aqua for there. So eventually, where's the uh, aquifers? How was it? I have two aquifers, so I do want to use them. And the rest of the spots can be water pump I have a feeling that I'm gonna need some fishing platforms like if my rate is actually good enough And uh, as far as the roads go, I want to leave one space so I can um, place down more buildings. And I'm probably going to scatter the roads. It's not going to be straight roads. Uh, I am probably going to scatter them. Yeah, I have a road there. Something like that. Wait, oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, eventually I'll, I'll want a road like this that cuts through the lumber plants. I. Oh, yeah, right. I guess I'll have a road like that temporarily. Anyways, I do know that I want a bunch of these. And, you know, I probably should just work on building these out because these freaking wild net fishing platform things take forever. Uh, those need lumber, wood, and oak wood. I do need to start collecting oak wood. Road here. This is gonna look a little weird, but um, I need somewhere to put my oak wood storage that I know is not gonna get deleted right away, at least. Hopefully, not up right away. Rank 122 dub. Let's go. Very nice. Just with the rush. Ten million cash. Oh my gosh, a lot. But um, uh, maybe do the ponds first. Five ponds. Ah, uh, see. I'm going to need the ponds for the water pumps. Oh, shoot. That gets rid of that. And...
Sweet. Legendary Water Tower for the win. And I can do the same thing over here. <laughs> the bonds are going to be easy then. Well, that's it for the bonds, right? That part's done. Uh, pumps. I have two rare pumps, but I'm probably just going to make regular regular water pump. So that's um, a regular water pump here and here. Uh, this one will be the diamond one. Is that actually right? Yeah, I think it is. So the diamond one will go here. So that's going to be a nuke, which means that needs to be a paved road. Oh, I need uh, oak wood. And I probably need more lumberjacks again. I d why did I get... Oh, that's for the... Uh... I remember it was for the uh, water tower. I wonder if anyone's selling sushi boats already or something. Almost two hours into the competition. Oh, shoot. Does anybody want some wine bottles? Because I have way too many. Actually, let me turn my energy production off as well, because at the moment I have way too many. Way too much energy, at least. Yeah. Yikes. Too much wine bottles. The, uh, the oak wood. That's what I was trying to do. Get at least some oak wood going. Um, that seems good. All right. Okay, so I could put a nuke down here. I'm not going to do that just yet because it would ruin my uh, wood production. Just keep stacking up lumber, wood, and oak wood. So I know I want that. I'm not completely sold on the road, so I could build out these roads and I could just delete them later if I decide not to use them. Um, like these two little, these little road spots, I will probably keep those. So, one right here. Uh, I think this spot will be the dedicated spot for my train bot. And uh, another road, was it here? Yep, it was. Two roads there.
Okay, working on some roads. I am kind of confident with those roads, so I'll try to just pave them. Twelve mil cash. Well, I'll try to leave this wine bottle rush going as uh, much as I can. Where, um, if I have the steel stuff going on over here, maybe it would be a better idea to set up my sushi restaurants and, um, what was it? The, the rice fields over here, the mixing tent. So let me do this scattered row thing first. Oh, I could do, I won't be able to use that spot. Wait, what if I do this? It's almost, a, no, it's almost the same story actually. Uh, okay, what, I might need more, I might need regular fishing platforms, and if that's the case, I'm probably going to want another new margin. Once fuel setup is done, is, uh, oh, once fuel is built, I do the, uh, for fast, the flour and wheat stand, and for slow, the candy store, two or three power plants, so it makes money, and then go to sleep. So, from sheep becomes candy. Well, if it's more money, right? Uh, you you with that and me this, but we both get there. Well, we all have a way to make money. If I do this, I need eight passive energy on it. Shoot. So do I want two nukes? Damn. And see, that would only get me these. Maybe I, I could have a the pond here and the water pump here. Maybe that would have been better. It just seems so expensive just for four more uh, fishing platforms. Well, I guess that's probably all I would need. Yeah, I think I should do this instead. Something is telling me that I will need uh, more fishing platforms later. That'll buy me a road here. That. Another one here. And four here. That could work. But that cost me two more nukes. That's the only downside to that little plan. So what about that? Yeah, that's interesting. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nukes. If 
but uh, it does give me full passive energy. Okay, and if I wanted to do scattered roads, uh, something like that. that's a lot. Yeah, something like that. Okay, and then I could have my uh, sushi restaurants next to each other. Let me, uh, like what's happening here? Cave Road. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably move this around now that I have a different idea. Damn, 100 wine bottles. That's not good, is it? 12 steel. I'm gonna end up throwing out wine. Oh, what's my rate? Should be 2300. $22.50. Oh, that's because I, I had like my ghost stores a little differently. And this is this one's obviously full. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. $22.50 wine bottles per hour. Wow. That puts me rank seven. Damn. That's crazy. Ah, uh, everyone's gonna think I, I'm gonna do like amazing and get top 10, but here I am trying to come up with an idea. <laughs> Dang. I'm gonna let some people down. I am sorry, guys. I obviously wanted to put out a no NFT build, but they just did not give us the time. They seriously did not. I want so on the no on the salmon and Geary build that I made for the last competition. I think I had eight or nine of these restaurants, so I kind of want to have six just doing salmon and Geary. Then I know I'll need half of that for the eel, and uh, I guess the same amount for the sushi boats. So I want to do six for salmon and Geary, three for eel, and three for sushi boats. Unix, that's sick, man. Yeah, <laughs> it is. I would send you wine bottles if I could. I would send somebody like 100 wine bottles. I'm sure it would help you out so much. And I, I, want, I want to have my storages here somewhere. Maybe I'm eyeing these two spots for the storages. Uh... The sushi restaurants making salmon and nigiri need to have three energy. The other ones do not. So that's six right there. Um, eel, white rice. So I'll add roads uh, in a bit. Actually, no, I, I should add the roads. How's my roads gonna look like? Like that? Oh, I can't add a road there. Water pumps away. Shoot. Okay. Shoot. Well, what, what if I just do straight roads from there on out? I might need to do. Yeah, I might just need to do straight roads. Margin, I'm I'm checking me in 3D gaming to see how I do, but I'm not on the list. Very weird. Can't find my name. Are you on the right competition list? I've not checked D three gaming, so I don't know if they have the new one up yet. Okay, I should have made like a new stage for this. Like you know how you can make stages. Um. So hold on. Let me add this back. And the uh, where are you? Big warehouse, put those there. I put this actually, it's, it's not a big whatever. I changed my mind. Um, eventually, I'll get rid of my one bottle rush. You already know that. 
So there goes that. Eventually, I'll get rid of the steel setup too. Yeah, you, you get the point. I get rid of the steel, so that's not going to stay there forever. Yeah, you get the point. Um, lumber of wood. All right. I'm going to have to sell some glass factories. I made too many. Or it's just that I'm too far away from the city. Uh, Phoenix, remove one nuke, bro. You don't need three nuke on that corner. Uh, so... Phoenix, I want to have eight passive energy to... That way I won't have to uh, provide them energy manually. That's kind of why I want to have this many nukes. Because if I get rid of this, I'm going to have to manually supply energy with the fishermen. I can have a warehouse here and they're just going to have to take three energy for four energy for this one and energy for that one. Same story if I do this, they're going to have to supply energy to these. Now, should I just do that? Do you think that's a better idea? Just have a warehouse here and have them manually supply the energy because it's so close. Oh, it's, it's not wild in my body. Yeah. I could just take one nuke out and do this, manually supply energy. It's not a bad idea. It's actually not a bad idea because I'll be crafting energy with these two. I'll be crafting energy with all of them. It's just that all of, all of these will have to walk a super long distance to get over here. So it's not a bad idea. That would save me three spots. Two spots, really, because I have to put down a warehouse. I have to put down a warehouse in the way, though. I have to put down the diamond warehouse. Why do it so they uh, won't take all your shrimp? I'm sorry. What do, What do you mean? Um, I I I'm considering doing this because I think I'm gonna need more salmon. That's why I'm considering it. I do not think all of these wild nets will be enough. If I'm trying to get a high enough rate, I'm probably going to need more. In fact, even if I had this nuke, I don't even know if this is going to be enough. It probably will be. Most likely it will be. Yeah, I don't... I'm kind of liking the idea of not having that nuke there now. Yes, it's not passive energy, but like... I'm crafting energy anyway, so what's the point? See, I could just have my, uh... I don't know if y'all can even see it, because it's so small on the screen. <laughs> I could make it bigger. Actually, let me, let me know if that window is so small. It's not taking up the whole screen. Where is... Man, why can't I find things? Where's the diamond warehouse? Oh, gosh. Here it is. So I can just have the diamond warehouse here and the fishermen just quickly pick up the energy and drop it off. Like, it's not even a big deal, right? Should be easy. Ronnie, what's your target sushi boat output? Probably like 300 per hour, since that's 670 giri per hour. Rank 127, Dub. Doing very good, Lance. And I am rank 7. I got too many wine bottles, guys. I'm going to have to let one of these go. Probably these right here. Just, it's just too much. 
unfortunately. Like, I can't even do the shrimp brush because, as you can see, I can't even sell all of these. So, like, what's the point? Ronnie, for 100 sushi boat, approximately need 14 wild net fishing. So, yeah, and you're right, Ronnie. Uh, that, uh, that checks out. I, I, I've seen the numbers. So, if I were to only rely on wild net fishing right here, uh, that would only get me 200 per hour, which, yeah, you, some of you say only 200. Like, that's, well, that's a lot. But um, I have NFTs, so I'm trying to get the higher rates. So I am pretty sure I'm going to need these. Because last competition, I was running three rivers, and I pretty much used all three. Almost all three. I used like two and a half. 120 ahead of me, dang it. <laughs> you got to catch up. <laughs> I'm liking this idea right here, though. Uh, so with that being said, I need the pond there and the water pump. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna adopt this idea. Nuke right there. Water pump here. So that means a pond right here. Put back two more lumberjacks. Uh, you know what? I could just, I could just make the pond. So T's uh, in the bigger boat that sails 100 at a time, why not build it? Because then I'll have to make gas. I don't want to make gas. <laughs> You're right, though, I could. Water pump. Uh, so I guess I won't need this. Not according to my new idea. Uh, I'll hold off on deleting it just in case. Funny, my build is slow, still waiting for money. I'm going to bed, it's 3 a.m. here. Uh, yeah, have a good night, Ronnie. See, with the money I'm making, nukes isn't even that much of an issue anymore. Like, six nukes is going to cost me with the ornaments. 45 mil, and I'm pretty much halfway there. Uh, Louis, to point some sort of gas NFT, I'll buy that. I'm, I mean, pretty much everybody uses the haunted mansion pieces for the crude oil because it helps you with the gas. Or the dragon because you won't need the gas. Okay, I am. Um, I'm sure something's doable with this idea right here. Uh, oh, you, okay, that kind of interferes, but it's, it's fine. It's this weird setup. <laughs> and if I build this all out and it doesn't work, well, then go well, right? This is. Tweak it until it does. I'm thinking three Eon Nigiris right there, six salmon. Got I'll have the storages there. And I'll just have the uh sushi boats nearby. See, I could have the three sushi boats right there. And uh uh I know Gatsu upload oh yeah yeah yeah. Is this it? Oh, that's the Epic Seafood Warehouse. Okay, I couldn't find it earlier. This time I found it right away. Okay, yeah, something like that. Storage is in the middle of all of them. With the dragon, ouch, pretty money. 
It is, yeah. <laughs> you can see the the wine bottles are just getting insane now. I would I would give somebody a hundred wine bottles if I could. It's like a one mil cash. You know what? I am going to have to delete some or else they're just going to... Oh, shoot. They're going to jam up my storage. Okay, I'm deleting three of them. Actually... I'm deleting five of them. Too many. Okay, there we go. Let's see if that scales it down. Gosh, I do that too. It takes forever uh, to find NFTs on there, especially the newer NFTs, right? Oh, I forgot to take this off. That's fine. Uh, you might not have seen it, but I deleted five glass factories because I'm getting too many water bottles. You need to, Katsu needs a search bar on this. They need a search bar in the shop as well. Yeah, so something, having all of these together. So all the salmon, not all the salmon, but most of the salmon would probably go here. I need white rice to be nearby. So I need the mixing tents to be nearby, I know that. And I'm still kind of sticking with the idea of just having scattered roads. Not sure if it's a good idea, but that's kind of what I'm aiming for. Oh, I'm not gonna have I'm not gonna have enough passive energy to reach over there. But I do have enough passive energy to reach over here. Don't delete, stop for a while. Yeah, I could have just stopped them, but it, it's cool. We'll see how it goes now. Well, I could just use my rare solar panel uh, and get energy that way. For the, uh, for the mixing tents, I require energy. Uh, I could just use my rare solar panel. I wasn't planning on doing that. Or I could have my mixing tents over here. And that means I would have to have rice here, which is weird. I'm going to have rice in the middle of the map. And then I'll have buildings on the sides. Could that work? Maybe. And I think I need like a lot of uh, mixing tents for rice. Like I want to say like 10 because that's what I had last time. And uh, this time I'm also making veal nigiri and that also needs white rice. Yeah, I, probably like 12, right? Where, where's the energy here? No energy? Oh, there's no energy in there. Hmm. Yeah, some people would say that's probably too many. I think it's just fine. Get like, uh, at most, get like 90 white rice per mixing tent. 300 sushi boats needs. Where did I have the, uh, oh, it, I could just search it up here. It's crazy. Okay. 
four white rice per sushi boats. Oh, because it's one for the rice veneer. That's right. So if I want 300 sushi boats, that's 1,200 white rice. I don't think this is even going to be enough. Even if I got 100 white rice out of each one of these, it wouldn't be enough. Man. Right, let's see what let's see what I can get with this. That's ten. And um <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's too many mixing sets. Thirteen. I can always switch one out. Uh, make you craft something else. I am to the point where I could ha start building some nukes. Because I think the nukes... Like, I'm not planning on moving them. I hope my steel isn't going over here. No, that's... I'm going to stop two more of these. Uh, do you thought about placing the nukes two squares far from the edge of the river? Why do I get more energy that way? Because no, I didn't think about that. Harshal, hello. Is there any non-NFT build for this meta? No, Harshal, or at least I have not made one. I haven't made one. I'm, I am not sure if others have. I saw some ideas going around. Two? But that would only give me three passive energy. Then I would need more of them near each other. I don't want to go through that whole thought process. I suppose it could work, but then you would need the nukes to be closer to each other. And really, I mostly just want the energy going to these uh, wild net fishing things. I mean, this tent would probably have to walk a long distance to get to wherever I'm going to have the uh, ground silo. But uh, that's 13 tents. They would all be going towards the same silo. Here we go again, looking for an NFT out of a whole list. Brown silo, where are you? Should I just place? Oh, OK, here it is. See, that would be the ground silo. They would quickly get the rice, right? All of them would just go pop in, get the rice, deposit it over here, get the rice, craft, deposit it over here. You can see the, the chain of productions right here. Uh, the rice has to be nearby. And then the rice is going to need water as well, but uh, I'll deal with that with the ponds and the water pond, with the water tower. On the corner, where, you, where do you have five, six, seven energy? Right here? Six, seven, seven, six, four. That what you meant? Oh, right here? Five, six, seven. Oh. Huh. Um. Hold on. Let me. I just made another stage. So let me see if I can do something there.
Oh shoot, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I'm not gonna have four energy over here. That's the thing. Or is it because I'm missing a road? No, I'm just not gonna have more energy over there. I don't think that would work, to Tweece. Uh, if I'm if I'm needing energy over here, it defeats the purpose. So I'll go back to this. Oh shoot! Did I not have it on? <laughs> My bad. I probably didn't put it on. Whoops. Okay. Okay, so I'm still selling wine bottles. Let me actually look at it. Put it on. Wasn't sure if you guys were seeing it. For this competition, we need triple husk rice from last competition. Yeah. It sounds like it, right? Triple, maybe quadruple. Not bad. I don't know how much y'all saw. Um, but uh, to tweet, I did try to see if this idea would work. I honestly don't even know if it was showing on the screen. And like, you see, I wouldn't get, I wouldn't be getting four energy here, and I would still need energy here anyways. So I don't really think it was worthwhile. I could have my rare solar panel here, and then I would only need energy for this. I could do that. Or I might not even need to run this at all. I just, I honestly do not know at this point. But I do want to have the diamond warehouse on the field. Huh. Hearing noises. Rice fields. Uh, rice hut. I need 10 husk. And so I need like 3,000 if I wanted to do 300 per hour. Each husk, rice, rice field, whatever. It's like 180, but it's not really 180. It might be like 120. Dang. It feels like I'm, I'm going to need a lot of rice. A lot more than I thought I was going to need. I was just planning to have like seven. No, I'm going to need way more. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think I'm going to need way more rice than I thought I was. Shade hits all the way there. So as long as I don't have any shade next to it. Uh, this is this might be weird, but I am considering having the rice in the middle of the map. Has anybody else considered that? And I know they need eight water. Maybe move the uh move this down one. Mm. Yeah, move it down closer to the center. Might be better. Shrimp and rice at the center, yes. Seems like a reasonable idea. I have my rice in the middle too. Oh, so people have considered it. Okay. 
Yeah, because usually you don't do that, but like, doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Uh, that would have shade. This. Oh, it's getting shade from that. So what if I have the road there instead? Okay, that's 14, better than seven. Ground silo on each side. I do have two ground silos if I really need to use two. I don't know if I'll need to use two, that's just don't know yet. And that gives me almost all my water. What if I don't need this one here? What if I move it somewhere else? Yeah, what if I move these somewhere else? Because they cast too much shade. Nine, thirteen, sixteen. Sixteen rice fields, that seems like plenty. I'm not saying it's a lot, I'm saying it's it should be okay. I am kind of sold on the nukes, so I think I will actually build out the nukes. Um no, no, wait. I should be building out I should be building out all the wild net fishing while I wait. Yeah, I need to start doing that. I need to actually start working on those. I have oak wood, lumber, and um, I just need to get the wood. Okay, I'm gonna start building some of those out. I already know that I'm gonna need them, like for sure. It's not like I can move those. Now, normally you would only want to build a couple of things and start making some of the product. Uh, that way you can at least get some cash and get, start getting some stars out of it. But in my case, I have so much cash and I'm still working on the design that um, I'm just going to start building out a bunch of these like potentially trying to make the whole build all at once if possible and rank six geez i don't think i've ever been that high all thanks to the wine bottles i guess back to this maybe i should make it bigger plus It's gonna cut in my green screen. My uh, no, it's gonna cut through my uh, my camera. But uh, yeah, that's a little bigger. Trip rush taking too much gas. Uh, chum rush working out better. Twice the money. Right, because you don't need to sell as much. I think this shrimp rush will be much better. Um, when um the trade bot becomes useful i guess <laughs> i don't know how else i can word that thanks Shang grown uh keeping all them genius ideas to yourself haha <laughs> i ain't surprised hey i'm still i'm still trying to think about what i'm gonna do here as you can see i um i'm putting ideas together 
<laughs> JK. Rice in the middle with uh, enough passive water for 16 rice fields. Not what I was planning initially. I was planning like seven, but I don't even think that's going to be give me enough rice. I don't even know if 300 is possible. But yeah, that should be plenty. That should be plenty of rice. I know that you also want rice husk for the worms. Actually, let me check this uh, fish. Yeah, fish chum. Food mix needs the worms. But you want your food mix to be close to the um, the fish pond. Okay, um, the worms, you want them to be somewhat close to the, the silo that has the rice. <laughs> they need more water. So yeah, all of these would make worms. I don't think it's a whole lot of worms. Let me just put 300 per hour. I don't know if I'm going to hit that rate. 300 worms. Yeah, it's one worm each. Each one of these with nets, uh, 120, but with movement speeds, probably 90, maybe 100, maybe. So I would need three or four. I can see I would need three or four. I would stick to three and see if that works, because I don't even think I'm going to hit 300. Yeah, the Russia SAR is not as important since they reduce the cost for tractors and logs. So considering the rates, I am thinking three worm farms. And this is a good spot because uh, they don't need roads. I guess I could put... No, I can't really put anything else here because I don't want it to cast shade. From my understanding, the uh, worm farms do not... Cast shade. I don't believe they do. Yeah, they don't. They don't cast shade. Johan Den Rover, how do you do the test map? Oh, uh, this uh website that I'm using, uh it is called townguide.eu. Okay. Actually, I can just post it on the chat. So townguide.eu. That's the website I'm using. Uh, this website is being run by... His name's also Johan. <laughs> Johan Thalir, also known as Gatsu in the Gala Games Discord. So shout out to him. Always appreciate him uh, keeping this updated. I think worms like shade. Um, the worms don't need shade. The wasabi needs the shade. The worms do not need the shade. They don't care for it. The wasabi. I have not even thought about the wasabi. I'd probably just go here. Yeah, I'd probably just stick it here somewhere. No, but I could have buildings there. Yeah, I could have uh, some other buildings there. I gotta put the three sushi buildings back. See the uh, sushi boats. There you go, three sushi boats. Eel sushi. Seminigiris. White rice goes over here. You know what? Put more white rice. You can never go wrong with them. I can always change them up. Worms. So from my understanding, the worms go into the silo. Originally, some of this information was uh, wrong because it wasn't tested um, in the game because this information was gotten from uh, what was posted in the announcements. Yeah, from my understanding, the worms go into the silo. Some people have already heard. that. 
Oh, yes, I knew it was one of the new ones at that. Right. Worms go into the silo. So farmers take the rice husk to the silo, take the rice husk out of the silo for some stupid reason, go over here. Then they'll take the worms and put it back in the silo, and then the worms get picked up by the mixing tents making the food mix. Okay. And the food mix also needs row. Oh yeah, row... I think they also had row wrong, and it's supposed to go in the seafood warehouse. Somebody can back me up if I'm right or wrong on that, but yeah. I believe seafood warehouse for the row. I have the seafood warehouse right here. So it would make sense for food mix to be near the silo and the seafood warehouse. Now I can't put it there because it would cache shade on this. Unless I don't have a rice field. Interesting. Yeah, I could always take that one off. That would buy me two tents right here for food mix. Food mix is uh, one per eel, so you use one for every sushi boat, basically. I want to say that one mixing tent can make easily 120 food mix. Easily. So uh, you probably only need. Three? I can't I can't put one there. I wanna say you probably only need like three of them. Two, six, nine, eleven. Fourteen making white rice. Three making food mix, maybe. Just so so much new stuff to learn making my head spin. Oh, uh, for sure. And then they supposedly want to introduce uh, a bunch of new stuff during May Mayhem, which will be pizza. That's the rumor. They want to introduce pizza. So much new stuff. I really think they should calm down and just stick to the old school metas for a while. Yeah, I, I have like half a build here. That's something. It's taking a long time to get those uh those uh wild net fishing done. They are working on it. So well, that's good. I think I'm gonna need to move my uh trees around. I'm gonna put down some trees. So Tiana, it's crazy. I was uh if I was new looking at this game, I'd likely quit. This is not a beginner friendly competition, that's for sure. <laughs> the milk meta was probably the most beginner friendly one. Everybody loves that meta. This is so simple. I need more oak wood. I'm pretty sure I actually need more oak wood than I do regular wood. All right, there's more uh, trees. Okay. Somebody must be starting to craft some sushi boat. Ah. And 
It gives you a buzzing head. Yeah, there's a lot of math involved too. Noah community, hello. Uh, please tomorrow morning. I hope you will give people uh no NFT layout. I will try, but I can't make no promises. Um, assuming I I be done with this one today, I can try to work out a new NFT one. But just so you know, I won't be able to test it out. That's the thing. I've already seen some people share possible no NFT layouts in my Discord, I believe. So you might want to uh, check out there. Yeah, definitely not friendly. Many thanks, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. Of course, I always try to do my best on that. Uh, Tatiana, I uh, really did bad with the milk. So simple. Why? <laughs> uh, Rachel, you might want to be... You might be right about less roads. I have no idea where I'm going to fit everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, like, you probably could do all right with less roads. No, I could, I could be wrong, but... It's not it, like a situation with the windmills, because with the windmills, you have the lumberjacks going. They want the roads to go to the windmills faster. But in here, you don't really have that situation. Uh, but hey, too soon to know if I, I know what I'm talking about, so. Ice fields. I think only three of those. And, um... So I need the fish chum, but the fish chum scenario is going to be different because I have the seaweed stand. No community, looking forward to it. Hope you help people like me. I always do my best, man. I always do my best. Uh, check out the No NFT Summon Degree build if you haven't done so. already. I mean, that's essentially half the build. At the end, I have no clue, wasn't paying attention, thought it was so easy, I never planned. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a simple item to make, but you want to scale it up as much as possible. Wasabi could probably go here. I don't think I need too much wasabi either. That's another easy one. Uh, the wasabi goes into the silo, and then the ones making the Ionigiri have to walk to the silo to collect it. Shouldn't be, but it's not that close, but it's not that far either. It shouldn't be that bad. Needs three water and it wants three shades. So that, that, that spot doesn't have three shades. This spot does. What is that? Oh, that's like 50 wasabi per hour with the movement speed, so I probably need five or six. Six of them. Oh, shoot. Let me do more roads. Get one there. Can I get away with just doing scattered roads, you think? <laughs> so scattered roads. Maybe one long road and all of this is just a bunch of scattered spotted roads or whatever you want to call it. I kind of did something similar with the stack boxes, but that's a bad example. I didn't get a good ranking on that. Um... Noah, why don't you often release layout no NFT in recent seasons? Uh, Noah, the meta wasn't even live in the game. It's impossible for me to test out the uh, meta if it's not in the game on time. Uh, margin, I do the sushi setup I had with ad adaptions, seeing less fishnets, less weed and shrimp, and restaurant. Is two of each around power plants and mixing tents with the same? So a lot is the same, but what they do change. <laughs> You're tired. Uh, no problem. 
some of the setup is the chain is the same as Nigiri. White rice. No, I, I don't need roads like this over here because I I'm probably gonna have my seaweed, my uh, shrimp setup. So I'm thinking shrimp over here. Shrimp over here and mixing tents over here. Let me figure out my mixing tents first. My fish shrimp mixing tents, just to be clear. So they're going to want to have one passive seaweed. Can I get away with doing that? Two, three, four, five. I would need my planting seaweed stand right there. So I'm gonna see if I can get away with doing this. I don't even know how, how I'm gonna do the workers. I'm gonna maybe shove them all over here on this side or something. Platinum seaweed stand. No, I can move it over here. Oh, okay, yeah, I think I could just do that. Unless I do this. Five, three, two. I could maybe do that. Anyways, how many mixing tents for fish chum? Well, each one would give me about. Well, they gotta pick up the uh the shrimp, so maybe like eighty. Each one would give me eighty, and I need. What was it six hundred for my idea? This would be more than enough. Nine of them like that. That should be plenty. Yeah, that should work. Uh, Noah, when can you help people lay out their NFT? I'm going to see if I can come up with one tomorrow. But like I said, when it comes to designing a no NFT layout, you're gonna definitely have to tweak it. If you try to copy it, it's not gonna work. Uh, you're gonna have to know how to tweak it. Because um, I won't be able to test it. I can't uh, play on a different server while I'm on the competition. Not possible. So shrimp ponds. I'll probably need another. I'll put down my my other seafood warehouse over here, just so they can deposit the shrimp faster. Probably I could probably put it right here actually. So my first one's over here. My second one would be over here. Um, mm, or maybe over here, because I also want to. I also need to um, think about the row. Right here. Right here is a good spot. So that can be a mixing tent. I can see one of my uh, plat platforms down there is ready. So that's 10. And...
This is going to be an interesting live stream because some people, I'm going to have some people watch this in the future and be like, so check this out because this competition, I did not have a design and I kind of had to come up with one. And that's kind of just how the game is sometimes, you know? You can't always have everything planned out. You're not supposed to have everything planned out. They don't really want you to in some situations. Uh, 14. I'm thinking if I want 600 salmon, I gotta have the, uh, about the same amount of shrimp ponds as last time. Which was about 16 or 17 from what I could remember. So like that. So this gives me all the seaweed I need for this. And all the shrimp I need from that. I would have 10 of these making fish chum, which is probably more than enough uh, for the salmon I need. That gives me all the shrimp I need. Um, speculating on that. So what about... I could have a road here and just have two buildings or something. What about the road? And uh, I'm still not completely sure about the wasabi. I could probably just put the wasabi here. I, let me let me go back to the wasabi. I just, no, I need six of these. Really? Yeah, I need six of these. So what about over here? Oops. Don't need water. No, I could just have the wasabi over here. It it would be kind of annoying because the tractors have to deal with this and then go over here, but it could work. Uh, I need the sugar cane maybe over here. Yeah, wasabi will probably be over here. Margin, fuel setup almost done, build and ready clicks, and now saving for candy stores almost ready for sleep time, last fuel used, or extra money. Just make sure your uh, fuel setup work, but it works, but uh, that's good. I have most of this, most of this done. Fish farm. Uh, trust me guys, if I had enough time, like if I pulled an all-nighter, I would have had a build design ready. But I would have been tired of that. So i rather just do my rush and slowly start working on building some of this stuff out while I am at the same time figuring out what I'm going to do. Uh, and there's a train in the background, of course. Uh, I need row, and the row needs seaweed, so good thing I got the seaweed stand for that. Row goes into the... the uh, seafood storage. Let's see, can I find it again? I can, okay. First seafood storage is down here, and the second one is up here. Right next to the shrimp, right next to the row. That makes perfect sense to me. And... Oh, how much row will I need? I think 600? Yeah, 600. Each one, I estimate, it should give me about a hundred on each one. I should get about a hundred. So I probably need like six. That's not too bad. I don't even need roads for them. Five, four, three, six. Five, four, three, two. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, hold on. Maybe I can move some of this around. No, not that one. Five, four, three, two. 
That is how many? Three, five, nine, thirteen. Eighteen. Yeah, that's eighteen and this would be That would be eight, but I don't need eight. Okay, so the eel needs food mix. The food mix is made right here. Where does the food mix go? I can't remember. Storehouse. Does it actually go in the storehouse? <laughs> I hope it does. Actually, I'm not sure. Sandula, sub dev, how's it coming along? Uh, the actual rush went super good. Yeah, as you can see, I did my wine bottle rush. Uh, I had to delete some buildings and put some buildings to sleep because I was making way too many. 2,000 wine bottles per hour. It's supposed to be 2,300, but my dragon cannot handle it. It's getting overworked. Um, steel setup. Shoot, I need to turn it off. I have all the steel I need. I don't need no more steel. Uh, good thing I caught that. Right after this, I'm turning it off. I ha already have enough steel for seven. And I think I only need six. Nice, that looks beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I'm starting to collect wood to build these out. As um, I'm sure you saw, I'm still planning out my uh, what I'm going to do for my final layout. So I have 35 steel. I don't need no more. Right? I'm double checking. Double checking. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I absolutely need one more, seven. I have, yeah. Yeah, I'm good on steel. I can get rid of the steel mill. And I can get rid of that. Lumber is almost maxed. Sure, I probably need more wood, but when I get to full lumber, then I'll uh, then I will turn off the lumber mills. I need more of these. Hi, uh, you're welcome, <laughs> JK. And I didn't realize I was done with the uh, steel production. Uh, this might take a hit on my wood production. That's fine. I got to get them built eventually. I'm going to keep these mines running because I need iron. I need uh, 35 iron to match the 35 steel. It shouldn't take too long. Wine bottles are coming back down. I used to have like 100 excess. That's why I put two more to sleep. I don't want to build the nukes just yet. I can let them focus on this. And I've been at it for three and a half hours. Wow. So three, the competition started three hours. Thunderless. So I got double ocean, one on top and the other on the bottom, all across from each other. Should I go for one that connected, or do you think that should be fine? No, I think you should be okay. Some people just got the one ocean. Um, you could, I think you could still do your crops like near the edge of the middle, one side. See, I'm considering doing it in the middle. As uh, Some people here mentioned that they're, they're doing their crops in the middle as well. So even though your oceans are across from each other, it should be okay. On one of the sides, you have your seaweed. On the other side, you'll have your wild net fishing. It sounds okay. Doesn't seem like that big of an issue. I was thinking about how I'm going to do my eel. If I only need six of these. And uh, eel, I think 300? Oh, well, yeah, the, uh, the food mix is going to be kind of weird. 
So the way that food makes is going to work is they're actually going to pick it up from over here. That's going to suck. And then they're going to pick up the worm from here. Shoot. Shoot, and then the food mix is going to get deposited here. No, 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 I can't have that. I'm going to have, I'm going to have these mixing tents over here. They need to be picking up the row and dropping off the food mix right here. Unless I have my fish farms making eel over here. I could. Two trips over here, one trip over here, drop off here. If I put them here, two trips here, one trip over here, drop off. Makes more sense to have the mixing tents over here. And uh, I could still have these here. It's because the fish farms don't cast any shade, so. Just have eel on all these. And how many do I need? I need 300 eel if I want 300 sushi boat. This will get me. Oh, it's 80 seconds. That's kind of a weird number. Maybe like 50? Uh, no, maybe like 40. Yeah, I think I get 40 per pond. Per fish farm. Makes it kind of suck. Uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking, crops middle. I was just concerned about having the weed on one and fishing on other. Like it might be too much of a walk. Uh, possibly. You might want to consider one long road or something. But um, it's hard to even think about, you know. <laughs> uh, but I got hit with the 60% load and everything was gone. Oh, yikes. Uh, I thought I was screwed at the start because uh, my game kind of like... The screen kind of froze up. Not the screen. The uh, the website, the Gala Games website kind of froze up on me. Uh, but I did manage to get a two river so. The three rivers were taken by the looks of it. I'm gonna need a lot of these fish farms then. Huh. So what all of this could be fish farms. But who picks up the eel? These people pick up the eel. That's gonna be a long walk. Man, I can't have everything together. As much as I would like to, I just cannot have everything together. Quite impossible. I would like to have everything together. Yeah, fish chum there. And uh fish chum there so I can put something else over here. I forgot what I was doing there. Oh, whatever. Yeah, so these have to pick up the eel, which means they would have to take a trip over here. White rice right here. And wasabi over here, I'm guessing. And then drop off here oh yeah i remember what i was gonna do so if they're gonna walk all the way over here i probably need one more making eel nigiri so it's gonna be four of them instead of three and uh i could just make the sushi boat one yeah i don't think i need four of them making sushi boats And then I end up with a little too much fish chum. I don't think I need 11 making fish chum. I think it's just 9 or 10. 
I'll stick to that number for now. Because, yeah, if I wanted to, I could have five making Eonigiri. If it's the movement speeds messing them up. Okay. That's the thought process on that right now. Okay, hand him back to work. I'll catch you in Discord. Good luck with the rest of your build. Thank you so much. Good luck to you as well. I'm almost at 35 iron. Actually, I probably could do it with 30 iron, uh, but I'll stop it at 35. Fifteen. So... Let me try to focus on the fish farms. So I've decided that the eel is going to go here. That just means that these will have to walk a long distance to actually get the eel. Mm, I don't see any other way I could do it unless I make a brand new design. I don't really want to do that. Eel farms, I'll probably need like eight of them. I'm eyeballing most of this stuff as usual. I can't really put anything on here because it's going to cast shade on the rice and I don't want that. I guess I could put wasabi on those two spots. Not here. And not there either. But I'm going to need way more spots with wasabi. Uh, I guess that's fine. I guess I could do two wasabi spots there. Two fish farm spots here. If I put a sushi restaurant here, I could do two more wasabi spots. But no, I don't think I need to do that. Eel, five, six, seven, eight. What if I just have two of them right next to each other right here? Actually, what about these? They're far, but like I'm not really doing anything with them. Right? So I could just put three there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That might work. Maybe. Wasabi. Both of these can be wasabi. I need like, like six of them though. That no, because there's not three shade. There needs to be three shade. Okay, I know I'm missing the workers. Um, I need sugar cane somewhere. No shade on these, right? Yeah. I think I only need one or two sugar cane fields. It grows pretty quickly. Yeah, that's easily like 120, 100 per hour, maybe. Oh, oh no, maybe I need two or three. I'm, I'll need two or three, actually. See, I might, I might even need more rice fields. I just do not know right now. But, uh... There's the idea, sugarcane fields. I still need to put down the workers. I'm going to sleep early uh, up tomorrow. Thanks for, again, fun time and lessons later. Have a good night, Margin, and get some rest. Hmm. Uh, I still have all this space to put down work. How many workers do you think I'll need though? Also, do I really need this long road? 
Or can it also be a bunch of spots like I'm doing over here? The tweet siren is okay. You're right. See, I totally forget about it too. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> You're paying more attention than I am. It's going to be 44 iron. So that's cool. I, I have all the steel here, which is what I wanted. And yeah, all the iron happened to be there too. Awesome. I should be good on steel and iron, even if I decide to make one more nuke than I'm planning on making. Oh, uh, that can stay for now. This needs regular wood. I'm going to turn off my great song, though. Turn that one off. Continue building that up. I'll put down a few more trees. And Two more of these. Make 10. I'm gonna start dropping. But I'm getting all the cash I need. I probably won't even start like fully building this out until after I take a break in like an hour. I'm actually quite hungry. But uh <laughs> I'm almost done setting this design up. Maybe somebody can actually let me I wouldn't be surprised if somebody ends up like copying it if they have similar NFTs uh, and beating me to it. But who knows? But yeah, I was doing the roads. This is going to be kind of weird because this spot, this isn't supposed to be. Uh... I, I didn't plan it out to be like this. I need that road there. That can't do anything here unless I put a road there. That can't. Oh, well, that could probably be a wasabi or something. Culture scoop. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh. I got energy, I'm doing good on the build. I'm a bit hungry. I'll worry about that later. Uh, working on designing... Um, I lost my train of thought. I'm working on designing a sushi bow build for myself. Wasabi needs shade and water. Yeah, that's right. So far, I only have two wasabis, and I realize I think I'm gonna need six. They have shade and water, and I will probably put some here once I plug in building stuff. And yeah, I kind of want to just go all scattered roads and see if it's viable, if it can be done. Maybe it won't be as good as some other people's, but that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Oh, that's going to be... Yeah, that's going to do that. That's fine. That's fine. I could probably do that. Just finish my dinner. Very nice. How are you doing in the competition? Ultra scoop. Scooping up the competition. I still need the fishermen. Fishermen, seafood warehouse. The only thing is, when they pick up salmon from over here, they're going to have to walk across the map. But the fishermen 
once I do the research, the fishermen are pretty fast. So what are we looking at? Three, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve. That seems like too much. They're gonna have to walk, but it does seem like too much. So three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 seems okay. Next is the aquaculturist. I'm either going to put my dragon over here or over here. Well, one, one's going to be the dragon and one's going to be the cream buff. I'm not home yet. I just picked the town no more. Uh, okay. So you're just getting started. Aquaculturist, I need enough for the shrimp. No, is it the uh the aquaculturist also deal with the uh fish pond, so I probably need even more aquaculturist. From my understanding, I will not need any seaweed farmers because I have the uh seaweed stand stands. Three, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, nineteen? Oh, maybe even 21. Maybe. 21, too many. Tractors, hell of a lot as well. Sure. See, I might need more rice fields over here. Something's telling me that's probably going to be the case. Anyways, tractors. Shoot, I heard you need a lot of tractors. So what, is eight too many with the research? Eight trackers is what I'm thinking. I know I still need the wasabi. I could put two buildings there, but uh, if I put buildings, it might affect the rice, and I don't want that. Uh, well, that's six wasabi right there. Four right here, two right here. Should get me 300 per hour if I even hit that rate. That's even if I hit that rate. Uh, not really sure what to put here. I could put wasabi. It'll just be uh, slowed down. Not enough shade. Funny enough. Um, I'll consider just leaving wasabi there. I'm not really sure. Maybe I could have just put a ground silo as well. Maybe that'll help out a little. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. I feel like I have everything. Tractors, aquaculturists. Fisherman, oh, the sauce, the sauce, the rice vinegar, I just remembered. Rice vinegar is missing. And I think that's it. Sauce facilities, two water, one white rice, sugar cane. So I do have the sugar cane. Uh, white rice would come out of these and then would be deposited here. I'm trying to do all this with just the one storehouse. I have two storehouses. I just don't know if I need both of them yet. Sauce facility. It would go pick up the white rice and it would go pick up the sugar cane. It also cast one shade. Dude, how am I going to fit anything else in here? I need 300. I could probably pump up close to it's it's the same situation as the row, I think. You know what? It makes more sense to have the, the rice the sauce facilities here. And then I can put the row mixing tents somewhere else. Maybe I can put them here. Yeah, they'll have to walk over here and over here, but that makes sense. It should be okay. 
Okay, so food mix, these three. They'll walk over here to pick up the row. They'll walk over here to get the worms, and then they'll either drop it off here or here, and then they're going to have to pick it up. But, um, maybe that's kind of tricky. How many fish shums do I have now? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make it nine just to be safe. Now, what do I do with all this space? Either put down where aquaculturists or move this or more over here. I could, I could do that. And what do I mean by that? Let me see if I can plan it out here. There's two more buildings here. Probably the same story. Yes, same story. Okay. more fish chum so how many fish chum is it it's uh 13 fish chum no 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 i forgot three of them are uh food mix 10 fish chum yeah shrimp ponds it's 15 but i could add more so really it's like back to 18 I need six making row, maybe seven. Let me do seven making row just in case. And uh, two, three. Uh, yeah, three. I need four making eels. Five. Oh, I have three over here. Two, five, six, seven, eight. What if I just put them over here? There we go. Yeah, I could probably just do that. Okay. Oh I'm somewhat liking this design. Yeah, I have a bunch of spaces that I don't know what to do yet uh, with yet, but that's probably something I'll figure out once I have all this built. Uh, like, so I'll either put down more rice fields or put down more building, more workers. Um, and we'll see if this works. I think I have roughly what I want to do. I, I can't think of anything. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Fishermen, tractors, aquaculturists, sushi boat, eel, salmon. I could put down my solar panel if I'm not planning on using this. Can make roads if I really needed to. Something tells me I'm gonna need more tractors and more rice fields. Just in case that buys me two more rice fields. Uh, yeah, pretty much that pond buys me two more rice fields. 
I'm getting 360 wool per hour at the moment. That's good. Uh, should be able to do better, no? Is that usually how, how much you get? I swear, on that uh, wool expansion guide, I was doing like 440, and I'm like, uh, that's that's pretty good, actually, but like, it's not even like a proper build. I think people should be getting more. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm buy in two more rice fields. And. Shoot, there's a uh, shade everywhere now. Four. That cash. Oh, they cast one shade. Never mind. I thought they were the aquaculturists cast two shades. No, nah, they only cast one shade, so this will work. That gets me like 17 rice fields. Yeah. All right, I have a I have a design idea, and obviously I'm gonna need to tweak it after I build it. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to tweak it after I build it, but at least I have an idea now. So once I build it out, tweak it, and then start considering maybe helping some other people out if I can. But hey, I also I also need to take a break, so uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. I might just be like trying to build up a bunch of stuff and come back later and just keep building and i'll obviously stream again later today but um yeah this might be like a boring part where i'm just waiting for uh stuff to build uh jmr it's probably because my oloc pen industry was more central and it's conflicting with my sheep oh, okay that's right Dude, I'm gonna have to get rid of these uh builders. Yeah, some of them might be carrying some stuff, but uh gotta get rid of them. The dragon I'm going to move probably in this corner should be okay. Or I can move it over here. I guess I can I can move it over here. This spot right here because I don't have a road. Two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, six. Turn on these two because I think I need a little more wine bottles. Almost 2,000 wine bottles per hour. I hit 50 million cash. We're almost four hours in. <laughs> ton of cash. I'm dropping and ranking, so I'm assuming people are already making sushi boats somehow. Move my dragon. Oh, I hope it's not all for nothing. I am worried about the people who just get randomly new. I shouldn't be, but um, it sucks. Wild next. All right. Nukes. Gonna be two nukes next to each other like this. I guess I don't need this setup. And uh, everything else should be the same. They don't have wages, right? Yeah, they don't have. Okay, they don't have wages. So I'll go ahead and build them. I didn't remember. Oh, I don't have passive energy for them. That's right. 
But uh, as long as I don't have any fishermen, they're not going to take up all my energy just yet. So that's fine. Not that one. I'm gonna put some builders over here. Uh, I want to remove these. I want to put some fishing platforms. Twenty-five water. Do I have uh, wells? No, I think I take the wells. I gotta add those back. I think I'm gonna add the wells back. You know what? All the way over here. No, never mind. I was gonna put a wind pump in that. Doesn't matter. I might take a while on that. <laughs> I'm like, it might take a while for these to build because I thought they had to build all these first. Never mind. Uh, yeah, I got some dirty on them. Well, these two won't have dirty. I guess I'll build two more. I need a bunch of water for these, so. Have a nuke there. Uh, nuke here, I think. Oh no, I changed that. That road's not going to go there no more. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. So I don't I changed my mind on this road. I don't need that there. And uh I need a road here for the new. And one here. So I can put down most of my nukes. Two here, one here, one here, and one here. I can't do this one because I need the pay road. I also, I can build this one, I just do not want to, like, finish actually building it because it's going to cast a bunch of shade. I'm going to work on it. Hopefully I, I remember and I don't finish building it the, uh, before I'm done with the wood requirement. That's going to suck. Uh, the, these two over here, I can pretty much finish them. But these other ones, I'll wait. So I should have enough money for the nukes. Yes, I am just going to go ahead and go through with them. I think uh, 
and made up my mind on this setup idea. And one here, which I can't do yet. Maybe I can. Oh, it's gonna... I have to get rid of this. So I'm just going to run the one lumber mill now. Is that right? It's going to be four, three, two. Yep. All right, building out all the nukes. I'm going to try to do some of the road ideas. All scattered roads. I'll get rid of the roads I don't need anymore. Road on the road here. I still want a road here and I hope I didn't drop a steel. Maybe I did. I don't know. I just got rid of one of the builders. Even if I did, uh, that just means I won't be able to make the seventh nuke, which I don't think I'll need. It should be okay. Where's this builder at? Oh, I see.
if I can get like half this map built, then I'll be I'll feel good about getting rid of the wine model rush. Oh, I can get all all this done actually. Uh, it's gonna be kind of tricky though because I need all the wood for it. Unless I have trees in the middle. So instead of the rice in the middle, I I could have trees until I don't need wood anymore. So where's this? All oh, right there. Okay. And this builder has oak wood, that's fine. Somebody else can get oak wood. Nice. Hey, a bunch of lumber and a bunch of uh, regular wood now. Hey. Uh, I'll try to do the roads over here. It's it's kind of tricky though. So I am gonna need to get rid of that big warehouse. Hopefully they take the five steel from here, but I do not know. Road here. And oh, that road. Okay. So I can get rid of these two. I could temporarily take this road off and then they'll be forced to take this steel. So I'm actually going to do that. It deactivates it, so now they got to take steel from here. And once they take that steel, I can take off that big one. I need a road here eventually, and I don't care about getting rid of 60 width, though. That's not a big deal. Okay, that's about all the roads I can do right now. I'm going to put down more builders. 
Uh, Lance, uh, yo, where does the sushi boats even get stored? Normal warehouse or seafood warehouse? Um, they said the storehouse. They said it gets stored in the storehouse, so... Uh, hold on. I don't even know if you can see it because it's not taking up the whole screen. This is my idea, by the way. I don't know how long you've been around. Um, so... I have this restaurants making sushi boats somewhat nearby to the storehouse because I, I believe they deposited in the storehouse. If possible, you want your seafood uh, warehouse to be nearby anyways because that's where you're going to have your salmon and your eel. But that's, that's my idea. Uh, they should be going to the storehouse. I don't know if somebody wants to verify that because the past couple hours they reported things wrong. They didn't even tell us the correct places where stuff goes. And I haven't made any sushi boats yet. Rank 18, slowly, slowly dropping. But I'm making progress. I have an idea and I hope that it works. Yeah, I was like, what was I doing? Builder houses. I've been at it for four hours now, four hours into the competition. I am going to take a break, though, and I think it's a good time to take a break. I am hungry. I want to go get some for me, but also... Uh, I could probably make something. But also, um, look, I have a bunch of stuff that's being built, so gonna take up some time once i get all this built and i get more money from the wine bottles and i collect more wood i'm actually doing very good on wood now then i should be able to build more stuff out very quickly but i will live stream again i'll call it part two of the live stream uh Pretty soon, I just don't know if it's an hour from now, two hours, or three hours from now, but pretty soon. I, honestly, probably three hours from now, I'm probably going to take like a three hour break. Uh, so in between, I'm going to just build out more of the stuff and hopefully I'll be able to finish it tonight. And then I want to come up with more designs to help uh, others out. Probably one with... Uh, a seaweed stand design first and then other designs i do want to come up with designs but like i told people just because i come up with a design does not mean it works guys you gotta test it and you most likely gotta tweak it uh yeah i'm not gonna test it out so far so good did they take the steel they did okay so i can take that one off because i want to erode here and i need to put Okay, it's going to get the road. I need to give this the road back so they can start taking the steel and the iron. That's good. Damn. It might look like a mess, but it, it's coming along. <laughs> all right, all right. Rank 19. Good. But yeah. I'm gonna take a break. This is a good time. Uh, in between, I'll build out other stuff like I just showed on my uh, plan right here. Boom. That's the plan. Don't know if it'll work, but that's the plan. I'm already leaking it to everyone. You saw me come up with it live. And we'll see if it works in the end. If not, it might look totally different. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to work on building out some of these sushi restaurants and mixing tents. And probably, yeah, as much as I can over here. All this stuff won't happen until I get rid of the wine bottle rush, which probably will be once I start part two of the live stream. So I won't be making sushi boats until hours from now still. So yeah, I'll probably fall behind in that aspect. But hopefully the rate is good enough for me to stay top 50 or something. That would be good. 
but anyways uh thank you so much everybody who uh you know is hanging out with me the past four hours watching me come up with a design and working on this build i'll be back in a couple hours most likely for part two so hopefully you can also if you have time if you want to catch that one as well anyways uh best of luck to everyone keep doing keep working on your build i'll be on discord as well uh see if anybody had any questions but yeah catch y'all late, later i appreciate you so much everyone thank you for watching